where we left off, it was on the um, let's have a look right here. Hey. So where we left off was on the um, Thursday uh, in the afternoon after you um, did a citizen's arrest on this guy called Theodore. Um, you're talking to uh, Sergeant Batterman and he he explained that um, that uh, his wife's away and he's making the most of it by going for some drinks. So he invited you, he invited you along. You asked about, um, you asked about tracking down Samantha, the chambermaid, and he, um, he said he'll see what he can do. And so you've got a few hours now before the evening. What do you want to do? Any shop you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you're on mute, Chip Boy. Just as well. All right. I'm just going to chew some chips. Into oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone Very put lovely. him back on mute. I thought he was saying something useful. <laughs> going to start, right, up, start up that waiting room again. <laughs> are we are we um are we, gonna, are we gonna take some weapons into the badger or do you think we'll get in more trouble doing that than if we just go in there with our fists? I think well, I'm I'm gonna take my weapons with me, but obviously leave them at the door, as is the standard. It's moot for it's me. I'll be taking gonna... I'll be taking my walking staff in there, so it's moot for me, but it's not really my weapon either. You know, but I, I think it, well I think yeah, if I'll you show a... up at the badger without being armed you know what I mean? You're probably not the right clientele to be walking in there. <laughs> Just, but that being said, so Aragon, Aragon's not going to—he's not going to try and um, hide his glaive down his pants. No, I'm going I'm to keep a dagger secreted down the boat, though. What's the um? You bit of that background you've got. You that background you've got, Aragon, is pretty cool. It's a nice clive. You, you you better um tip the guy looking after the weapons to make sure he doesn't like it just doesn't go missing, right? Oh, you got prop accurate, Ari. He's just, he's yeah, well, I, re I realised it was the wrong. <laughs> Good stuff. Maybe you want a, uh, maybe you want a glaive that like unscrews in the middle like a pool cue, and then you can just wander around with a couple of like walking sticks. That would just be quickly cool. stick them together. <clears throat> what um, okay, so what's the what's the deal with weapons inside the city anyway? I thought they kind of told us to put it away. Or was that just at the um, Heroes Palace? It was, it was just, yeah, yeah, just when entering places. Cool. Aragon's been walking around with a glaive. You don't see a lot of other people walking around with huge pole arms like that, apart from the watch. But it hasn't really attracted. It's not like everyone's like staring at his glaive, go and making a like. Look at that big, short big guy with the it. long weapon. <laughs> people are also in the habit of trying to kill us, so. Yeah, I'm just thinking I might take some daggers into um, the badger just in case. Yeah, you want to have a dagger on you at all times. You could maybe disguise the glaive as something else. You just need to put something on the top of it. Like a dragon head. <laughs> a flag or something. <laughs> just a bunch of flowers. Yeah. Just just put a big bunch yeah. of flowers at the top. The bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's head that you don't like. <laughs> Wander yeah. around. It's probably not if, a big deal. If, if we get high enough level, uh, level someone can uh, permanently like major illusion it into something well, not true, offensive. Actually. But the problem is, it's still you still got a it's still Thank like a mate. five foot long or six foot long pole arm that you have to. Uh, actually, it's probably longer. It's probably like seven or eight feet, isn't it? So, do we have any horses or anything, or are we too low level for that? What do you think? <laughs> We're almost out of money. Where the fuck are you getting a horse from? Do we have any horses? We've just like got a bunch of them we forgot about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know I'm not used to this low, lowly level pauper stuff that we have to go back through. And do. Should be by now, isn't this session six? Uh, yeah, but but I wasn't around for the first five levels of the last campaign. I came in at True. level five, which was a good place to land. True, but we hadn't off. used horses for like the last five levels of our campaign either. We were like summoning. Pegasus and turning Buying each other pony. into griffins what? and shit. You yeah, know, you, know, you just relied on Reed. 
you yeah. fucking freeloader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get riding his pony. Right. I, I, I definitely flew, flew all on. Oh, well. That's right. I remember um, one specific incident where Olan may have put you into some harm's way. Is that the globe of uh, vulnerability? Globe of, that's yeah, yeah. just the contingency when flying. That was the best. Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Yeah. there I go. <laughs> oh, when you st uh, you stab me with a pin. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I might grab some rope, dogs. Just a uh, fifty feet of rope. I don't think I have that yet. So I might just pick that up. Seems useful. Um, and if I can grab it, uh, just a lantern. Uh, I'm going to just go on record. Okay. So I think there's a reasonable chance that this is going to end in a big brawl. Yeah. Mass 10D. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's with go the, to the... With the mouth on you, if we're going out drinking, someone's getting stabbed or punched. You mean Benefix? He's the one with the big mouth in this campaign. <laughs> in this campaign? Listen, you're right though. I do need to settle down. Oh, what is going on? Um, okay. Um, Black Cat's having some problems with Discord, uh, and I'm wondering if it was. Um... Sorry uh, about this. We're missing uh, someone off Roll Twenty as well. Though. I think change no their API. Oh, actually, that's. Uh... Like I've got a bit Roll Twenty. Okay, interesting. So it looks like Discord has um, Discord's done something to tighten their um, security. Mm -hmm. Unlike um, this, the remote certificate is invalid according to the validation procedure. Uh, there was a whole lot of Discord updates mm -hmm. which I didn't read. So hell, let me just um, let me just try. I might have to turn off Discord. That's going to be a huge pain. Um, while I try and work out. I'll try and work out how to fix it. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn off Discord. Can't really do anything about it. Black Cat can't send to Discord. It's not... Um, no, it'll take, it'll it. take a while to fix, probably. Yeah, so oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have to live with that today. Um, it's not something I've changed in Black Cat. It's like something Discord's <clears throat> done, just for whatever reason. So... It looks like I wonder if they've turned on HTTPS or something. You might have to. You'd hope it's already like that. turned on. Yeah, um, you just well, you're just sending out it to be your like, APIs calls as just non HTTPS. Are you saying? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. But you used to be able to just send a. Um, you could just send a message without security. So I'm not sure about that. It's something like that, anyway. Magic wizard um, mumbo jumbo. Let's uh, let's play some D and D. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, it just throws me when Black Cat doesn't do what it's meant to. Yeah. Um. Right. So by now it's stopped raining. You're in the outer. You're in the outer. Um. Bigly. Um. So Banifex, you want to buy some rope? Yeah. And um. Um. Okay. Let's just find out how much this rope cost. Hemp rope. It's a gold piece for hemp, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I thought it was half. Look at look it up. Yeah, maybe it's not that much. I was just taking a stab in the dark, to be honest. No, no, no. You were taking a stab at my coin purse. That's what you were taking the stab at just then. <laughs> the chat okay. stab in the dark. Going? That's what's going to happen at the. <laughs> Stab the oh, rope, the hemp, yeah. one GP. Oh, oh shit, really? Yeah. Uh, who's that got? Wait, like wait. Who's, we might have to save up for that. Yeah. Who's got? Who's got rope? Because I'm just going to nope out of that as soon as the vendor tells me how much it costs. And just... you've got eighteen silvers. Benefits. Do you want to buy one? No. Do you want to buy some rope? No. Silk rope is ten gold pieces. Um, I've got 50. rope, but you can't have it. Where are these? Much. Where are these mountains of um? Thanks, love. Where are these mountains of gold that we used to have? Okay, no, I'll do um, without the rope. No, I'm if you trade in the... your shriveled bear penis neck pendant, you might get a discount. <laughs> no, uh, that's my bad I'm... boy. It's my baby. That's I'm definitely going to take my um my ball bearings bag with me this time, ready to go, in case we uh -huh. need to, in case we need to slow down the angry mob behind us. Okay. And um, all right, 
so Benefix goes to buy rope. He finds a rope, and it's too expensive for him. Correct. Um, all right. You've still got a few hours. Do you want to just return to the inn and stables and, and like mess about, or what do you want to do? Do, do, do we have any um, spells, or are we all spent? Uh, I think people have got spells. I don't think Dash is. I've got a little bit. I was kind of well, out. A couple left. I was out of the last fight, I think, um, just based on how we did it. So I've got most of my stuff left. Yeah, I don't think we did too much casting. We did try and charm that guy, didn't we? Or did or was that someone else we tried to charm? Yeah. Yeah. Do we, do we have any more of those? That could be handy. Yeah, and um, that was Maynard, wasn't it? He tried to charm me and try to charm some woman. I have all okay. three. Of, I have all three of my uh, slots, and uh, Ooh, one of my two wild shape. Chances. I don't have. I don't have my action, action surge, but I've got everything else. Well, um, when I say everything else, the only other thing I have is second wind. <laughs> <laughs> it's still factually accurate. Okay. I'm seeing Maynard's got two slots. Two out of three ain't bad. Is that a meatloaf meatloaf song? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Moro. <laughs> Moro says, um, uh, "It's called I mean, do anything like, for love, isn't it?" Which is probably Sergeant. That Sergeant Betterman guy. He seems like quite a good guy, but uh, I, I'm I'm like ever since I've been back in town, just been itching to do some gambling. Um, I I might see you guys later. Uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow morning, or <laughs> maybe later tonight or something. Do you want me to hold on to some of your money so you don't lose it all? Mm, no. <laughs> what about um, I'm gonna go all in. He just stabbed himself, yeah. and he um. And he uh, he kind of shuffles off somewhere. Should I track and... him? Probably. Go after him, eh? Find out where he's bloody going. All right. So we're down to four. Should I do have the disguise self spell? Wait, where's Paletta Palatima? You're going to disguise he, yourself as the better bard. He's currently with you, but he's refusing to say anything at all. Mm. So he's coming in. Same okay, as all. So there's five of us going in to the punch up. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I want to punch up. Right. Now, if I had a short sword, you, you I can could probably, probably turn yourself into a chimpanzee or something. You'd be good at the punch up. <laughs> Rip someone's face off. That's true. Yeah. Uh, you need a short sword, did you say? I have. No, I no, have I've, I've, I've actually got a short sword. So okay. it, it means I can sneak into the, I can sneak that, I should be able to sneak that into the badger. Sweet. Oh, I've got, if we can get short swords in, I've got one, one or two of those. No, I'd, I'd say right. just yeah. take a dagger and don't, and save your spell slot. It's not much difference in damage. Hmm. Anyway. Well, if you were considering taking a short sword and casting disguise self to get it in there, well, I was, I was just thinking I could, I could probably get in the short sword without casting a spell. Mm. Just uh, imagine, just strap it to your thigh, maybe. What's? I mean, what are we talking? Short swords about that long? Oh, I think they're about a couple of feet high. Huh? Well, you couldn't strap it to. Well, yeah, it's um... Yeah. Arrogance thigh. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like a foot. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's probably Doug's. That's, that's a question for you, maybe. Do we reckon? It was tw up to, it was 12 to tw 20 inches. So one, could, between one, one and two foot. So could you, could, you, could, you could put it between your shoulder blades. And just yeah. Have the handle just tucked in down the collar there. Might take an action to get it out there. Yep. Uh, Except, uh, you know, it's not going to be. You know, you you can smuggle weapons in. You could also like put your trousers on, like, um, outside your short sword. <laughs> yep. 
Might have to drop my pants to pull my weapon. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you might have to go back to your room to do that. Wait, repeat what you just said then. Drop my pants to draw my weapon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'll leave the right. longbow and so, the, uh, er my arrows behind and my short sword. Okay. I'll just take a glaive and a dagger. Okay. Um, all right. So what's everyone doing? Is everyone just heading back for a couple of hours just to, like, you've, you've sort of bit of time if there's anything you want to do. Um, is there any... Uh, I wonder if it's worth me... We, we could ask um, Rigid whether Sergeant Bannerman is working with the, um, any of the gangs. He might know. I don't think you want to trust anyone in the, in the grasp right now, especially after we turned over one of theirs. Uh, yes. Okay. Right. So everyone, everyone is just um, returning to... Um, yeah, we're just going to go somewhere where we can weapon, hide all our weapons. Well, that's... Okay, so you can go back to your room to do that. Hmm. Yep. We'll make sure no one's following us. All right. Um, so I'm going to take in a dagger and a short sword with me. It's sealed mm -hmm. on my person. Yeah, and I got my um stave. All right. Um, so, so you return. Okay, sure. Um. And you just gonna rest for a bit? Yep. Okay. And then um, when it does get time to head out, um, Palladimir apparently he doesn't want to go. He's just going. Gonna tend to his face. Um, no, he he pulls out, he pulls out his holy symbol. And. Then he pulls out his Bible. And a cat of nine tails. Yeah, you get the impression he really has <laughs> taken oath of silence. Right. He's, a, <laughs> he's, he's ready mean, to self flagellate. Either that or he's just messing with you. It's, like, it's one of the other. What are the two? Yeah. Um, I quite like this oath of silence. All right. So four of you are going to head off. Um, all right. So, so as you do, um, by now it's like early evening. So you've left your rooms. You're heading for the main entrance to the Tarathian Inn and Stables. And there's a large reception and bar area. There are a few people just drinking there quietly at the bar. You notice two people sitting down at a table. And by now, it's like probably seven o'clock in the evening, something like that. Um, uh, but these two, they look, they look, um, they look tired and annoyed, and you recognise both of them. It's Garth Richardson, Catherine Wellaby from Ryman Castle. Um, so it it takes, yeah, this is where like I'd like to post to Discord, but can't. So how can I do it instead? Um, Copy um, and paste. Did you say Gavin? With, I to, yeah, I have to up. copy and paste. I have to look Garth, Garth Richardson. Uh, I'm just going to note this, is, uh, yeah, this uh, down. Garth, Garth Richardson. And is Catherine um, the, um, the, the good-looking one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll recognise her. Him. <laughs> and it's... Her. And... Oof. And they they see you, they jump up, they head over. And Kathy says, well, that's lucky, I suppose. We are sent here to find you. We've ridden up today. It's been a long ride for a single day. And then um, and then she kind of just like um, steps over just so that Aragon and Maynard can hear. She says, especially with that coven. Um, so who's she referring to? Who, did she glance? Garth, I think. Okay. Ah. Um, does have some crazier shit eyes on that photo. Yeah, it's creepy, man. The other photo she, of him, but like he's, he's got the same crazy eyes. 
Um, she says, uh, your, your parents are wondering where the hell you've got to. Uh, well, we were sent up there to do some things. We haven't quite finished them yet. We've uh, handed the letter over to the Duke and we were instructed to wait until the morning to see if there was a response. Okay. Okay. Well, I was hoping to stay in the town a bit longer. Um, perhaps I will. Is there uh, something at the castle we're needed for? Um, I don't know. Uh, they were just very concerned that you hadn't returned yet and worried that you might have run into trouble. Well, I, nothing volunteered, I volunteered to come and rescue you if that were required. Um, Gus says, yeah, I should have come in the first place. Uh, I mean, if there was any trouble, obviously. An extra, an extra pair of capable hands would have been uh, just what you need. Well, we're about to head off um, and meet up with some of the local watchmen who have been helping us uh, for a bit of a drink. If you fancy coming along. I thought I should warn you, it's a, uh, maybe not the classiest establishment. We're head, headed to the Badger. Oh, I see. This is Catherine. Oh, I see. So that's what you've been doing while you've been in the town. That's what you've been doing for several days. Well, well there's actually, no way I'm going out with any of you. I've paid for a private room. I got up really early. I've been sitting on a damn uncomfortable horse all day. I'm looking forward to an early night. I'll see you gentlemen in the morning. Early. And, uh, and she heads off. And Gareth says, Oh, she's fantastic, isn't she? Um, yeah, I'll come back for a drink. A <laughs> All your women seem to be slightly annoying. Have you noticed that, Dux? I mean, we should talk about this later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over a drink, Garth. I'll tell, I'll tell you about a fable I once read. There was this powerful sorcerer, Olan, who married the most beautiful woman in the world, but she was an absolute punisher. <laughs> <laughs> Her nickname was Blue Balls. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. So what are we doing now? Okay. Do you want to see Banner? And so he's gonna he's gonna join up. I think he's gonna join up with you then. So, um, so I take it we bumped into these guys as just we hit, as we headed down through the common at, area just, of the yeah, end. just at the reception. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just um. I want to get on with it. Okay. So, um, so now you're you're, you're going to head to you're heading across the town, and finding the badger is not hard, um, because you uh, you've got decent directions. I mean, um, actually. Probably, probably um, Dash knows where it is. And um, so you head in. And let me just, I've got a map here. And let's grab some tokens. Okay, and, um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to move roll 20, 
I'll move that to a uh, map. Do you see any of that? Can you see anything on this map? Yep. Yep. Yeah, cool. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that token there for tomorrow, I'm just going to reuse that token for for um, for guard. I wonder if I should just restart my is that, is that a combat map? It's definitely a combat map, I would expect. <laughs> well, is there anything about it's difficult to terrain? Go. Is it like difficult as fuck terrain? Because like, look at all those chairs, man. <laughs> this is the worst laid out restaurant ever. Yeah, when shit goes down, I'm just going to start huffing chairs at people. <laughs> You just get that expecting problems. No, no, um, okay. no, no shit at a restaurant last night. I actually rearranged a, a few a table into a better position so everybody could get around the place. <laughs> I was like exclaiming, "What are you doing here with your design?" Oh, yeah, it was awkward. Okay, okay. so we're uh, all in the we're all in the in, are we? yeah. So there's the um, same. Uh, there are there are a few you know quite a few people here. It's 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 not like a Friday or or Saturday, but there are quite a few people here. Um, people eating. Um, now the bed, the whole place, the whole place. Um, it's a it's a um, large CD bar. Um, the the whole place just smells slightly of damp and drains. Um, and it's fairly dark. Um, so far, no one's paying you any attention. Um, sorry, the, and you, the um, you're stopped on the door. Sorry, sorry about that. You're stopped on the door by the bouncer, and um, the bouncer he says to Aragon, uh, "You can't bring that in here, son." I'll pick it. I'll leave it with you. Is uh, okay. I'll take it to the bar. Um, takes to the bar, the guy behind the bar looks at it, goes, gently takes it, stashes it behind the bar. Okay, but but we've got so, our short so swords can, concealed, right? Yeah, no one's right. paying them any attention, and it's pretty dark. Um, and then he, um, and then he, the bouncer heads back over to the door. Oh, sweet. You're not saying that out loud, though, right, Neil? Well, we've still got heaps of weapons under our clothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't see what we're hiding. No, <laughs> drunk people say that and we're not drunk. Who we yet? Yeah. Yeah. I feel so I feel very suspicious about what's Have your character sheets updated? Probably not. Uh, uh, they look the same as they were last so. time, but I mean, updated yeah. from Okay, what? I think maybe you need to put a last updated timestamp on here for us. Write it down. Write it down. You could see it. You could. You could surely. You can see it from a Dropbox. Okay. Dropbox. Yeah, yeah last okay. updated thirtieth of the tenth. Oh, you've got to go back yeah. up to the folder, do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do, I might have to restart that cat because well, this whole token thing doesn't seem right. It was at eleven thirteen, which was probably it was right before we finished. So. We did. Uh, I have leveled yeah, up. Yeah, no, no, I haven't got me two extra hit points. So yeah, I don't think I've got my my XP yet. Yeah, my... yeah, no, okay, I, no, I just hadn't. Um, okay, so what I might do? Can can I just restart Black Cat? The reason is I just want to see if um, the score well, for some. You, you, you've updated benefits. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have updated now. So it's up, they are updating, are they? Yeah, they're updated now. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. You're, yeah, you're off the hook. <laughs> hmm. Still. Oh, something changed in my equipment, too. Oh, it turns out I've got him robe. Shit. I, I didn't really robe. I might just I steal your guys' robe and sell it. Come on. Well, I didn't add that. <laughs> I was going to say, you borrow it or you can have it, but not anymore. <laughs> no, where, where, where'd that rope go? It's like a hot bit. It's super hard to hide, too. It's like a great big thing oh. of 50 foot Yeah, 50 rope. foot of heap rope. It's like huge. It would fill most of a backpack. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right, guys, can I help you, gentlemen? 
Okay, hold on. We're going to take uh, I'll have a quick oh, look take... around the bar and just see if um if uh, Sergeant Benjamin's here yet. He's not. He's not in this main area. And what you notice is a. You Still notice area? near the and um, near the bar on the right hand side there is a corridor leading out, and um beside you. Is that toilets? Um no, there are there are just these big archways heading down. And there seem to be rooms down that way as well. Um, is the badger an inn or just a tavern? The badger is a tavern. Okay. As far as you can tell, it's just a tavern. It's a bit larger than um, what you may remember from 100 years ago. And does anyone have a history proficiency? No. No. no I've got Alzheimer's. Um, Maynard, do you? Um, skills. Uh, I, I, yes, I, I do. Actually, yeah. I've got, I've got history. Acrobatics, Maynard. deception, gaming set, history, performance, and persuasion. Oh, can you read me a? Can you roll me a history check, please? How did I get history? Oh, okay. So is Dash. Yeah. I'll oh, roll back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dash is thirteen. Maynard. Thirteen. Okay. Hovered on one there for a second. Good. So I will be. Uh, uh, it rolled and twice. And I don't know why. I, cl I, click, I clicked the D twenty and it rolled two dice. That was weird. All right. All right. So so that's that's cool. So both of you, both of you, um, both of you know the reason. So, um, about a hundred years ago, a bit more, and at some stage there was a fire. There was a fire in the. Um, there was a fire in the um, in the sewers, and then a few years later, there was this big flood, and because the sewers had all been weakened so much from the fire, um, quite a large section of the town was badly weakened, and uh, the foundations all cracked, and uh, there were a couple of building collapses, oh. and uh, <laughs> quite quite a large block. Quite a large block of the town had to be removed completely. It just had to be totally removed and <laughs> uh, and rebuilt. And when that happened, uh, and when that happened, they just thought, well, fuck it. And they just dug up. They, they dug up a lot of the foundations. Uh, and at that time, this whole area, um, the, sewers, the sewers were just completely rebuilt and some very large cellars were built. So um, this is like a long time ago. This is almost a hundred years ago. So what you're telling us is our metagaming historical knowledge of the underground sewer system of this place is not going to help us at all. I hope not. Good. Yeah, and that my last character, my last character burnt the burnt down the um the sewers, and it's his fault. Oh yeah. Did he? He, delayed reaction. Delayed reaction destroyed a large chunk of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Blade the last fireball. I wouldn't was, put it past Baron. Was that Varen trying to um, track down Boomer or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to shut down his um his exporting operation and his importing operation. So I was like, I'm going to collapse these tunnels that take take goods in and out. And uh, I, I collapsed half the town <laughs> at did, least. Did you actually do that? Oh, Is yeah. that we did. <laughs> yeah. So man, what? I mean, what Varen did, what Varen did was he um, he set fires going in the um, he set fires going in the cellar, in the sewers, and he burnt down some of their wooden um, supports. Um, I mean, that wouldn't necessarily have caused a collapse straight away, Bust. but you know, like as soon as there's a big flood, it could. Yeah, I was I was getting pissed off at how much money he was making, and I, I was like, I better shut this fucking operation down. <laughs> Because he was ripping us off as well, right? So I needed to. Is get... that the one you uh, you had partial shares in? No, I. Yeah, your partial... pettiness knows no bounds. No, no, I had partial shares in the in the actual tavern. The tavern wasn't touched. It was the it was the export business that needed to be shut down. It's like when somebody brings down a whole plane just to kill one person, eh? Because <laughs> I did it just before we went to the um. The Dash and Maynard. If, if, so far as Dash and Maynard remember, um, dozens of people died when um, when some of these buildings collapsed. <laughs> oh, okay. hmm. oh. Ah. Um, Doesn't right, strike me as so, the kind of guy that would have cared too much. 
it might be in that that history book that we read for those long chronicles yep of the despicable coward <laughs> baron and his revenge i was mentioned in there yeah it was mentioned in there and um, okay so so you get you get some drinks and you're by the bar I'll ask the, um, the guy behind the bar if, if Sergeant Bannerman's in here yet. We're supposed to be oh, meeting him Sergeant in here. Sergeant Bannerman, yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in uh, not not long ago, about half an hour ago. He was here. Um, yeah, uh, he's down one of the cellar bars. Uh, not sure. I remember which one now. Shall we just wander uh, around, or we'll go and have a look? Uh, if, yeah. if you if you like, yeah, sure. If you like. Um, Actually, we're also going to be eyeballing, well, just basically having a look out for, um, see if there's anyone we recognize. Uh -huh. Anyone graspy? Yeah. That's right. I stole all of Olan's oil to do that as well from the house of Olan. You had all this like oil in there. <laughs> I cleaned it all out. <laughs> then I went and set fire. <laughs> Did you play a separate D&D &D without us? I, I, no, we traded a few messages. All right. I just, I just remember, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to get away with this. You know what that was, man? <laughs> that I, I want to put a name to what you did with Dougs then. That was counselling. You ended, <laughs> you ended that session with all this pent up rage. <laughs> and so, Dougs hey, had, a, Dougs had a therapy session with you for like uh, over email. That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill that fucker. You um, blackmailed you. Moral story is don't blackmail me, and I won't, I won't uh, do bad things to you. Dan, that was funny. That letter. Yeah, that was good. Which letter? Oh, the the one that had contact poison, poison on it. <laughs> oh right, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so so where take you want to take your tokens and show me where you're heading? Uh, well, wh which did he indicate where the cellar? Or, or he didn't. Bar is. He's not head, sure. But head this way first. Here? All right. Okay, yeah. Maynard. So you head down there, Maynard. That one, that one seems to be empty. There's no light down that one. Um, so, um, oh, the next one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there is a light down there. Um, and uh, so Maynard, as you put your head down, there's some guys. There's a. There's. It's pretty dark. There's a. There's a candle down there, and there are some guys talking. Uh, how, you have to go a fair way down. And actually, just by chance, you've stumbled across the right place. Um, so there's a large cellar with a single candle burning on a table. It's a bit of light coming from the main room. So it is pretty dark. It smells quite strongly of damp drains. Um, there's Sergeant Bannerman, two other guards, seated at a huge wooden table, eating bread, soup, drinking beer, talking. Uh, you can see they've got armor on under the tabards. They've got a small barrel with them sitting on the table, probably about 10 liters. Plenty of mugs, and he just jumps up enthusiastically. He beckons you down, and he says, "Eh, hey, ah, these are the hunters I was telling you about. Hey, come and sit down. Do you want some food? It's rabbit soup. Not too bad." And they've got this large pot of soup. And there are some wooden bowls and spoons, and um, and the two remaining men you recognise one of them from Tuesday as one of the guards who was there when you attacked the Ellies. And the other one, he looks like a guard too. He's quite a big guy. There's a patch on his chest. He's got a white sword hilt in the shape of a cross with a gold border. Um, so, okay. Well, um, as, we, as I go to shake hands, I'm just looking for tattoos on knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you shake hands. You grab this. You take this guy's hand. And you like. You, you turn it over slightly. <laughs> like holding it up here and looking no, at it. No, that's cool. the subservient position. You know how when you like angle your hand over on top, you're exerting dominance over somebody. So you're just being his bitch a little bit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I, I just want to restart. I just want to restart Black Cat and see if the score works. Right? It's worth it, eh? Yeah. So I think we've um, I think we've just eaten, haven't we? Just in case there's something weird going on. Uh, I, noticed it's either. I think that might be my excuse at least. Uh, no, no, you haven't. You haven't really. Um, you haven't really eaten anything. I'll have some soup. This is how there's loads, and then um, as long starts, as other people are eating it. Yeah, 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 they're all eating it. And I'll top up oh, his. Okay. 
I'll uh follow <laughs> that. <laughs> It is weird, eh? It is weird. Okay, oh, Discord's that, working again. That worked, yeah. Just a crash. Yeah. yeah, just um yeah, no, no, it was it was it just couldn't it couldn't talk to Discord. Um why would the hell? Why the hell would that be? Um, oh, can anyway. it can it talk now, can it? Yeah. Okay, fine. So all of, the only difference is I've restarted it. Um, okay. So um, yeah, there's obviously something something for me to think about there. Okay. Um, so he says, yeah, sit down, sit down. Um, and and he starts telling the other guys. He starts telling the other guys about how you guys got attacked, and and and, and one of them says, "Oh yeah, 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 we saw the head. <laughs> we saw the head of this. Oh, you know, it's good that some of these um, some of these out there's good that see the end of some of these alley scum. You know, there's not that much we can do about them sometimes. They're like rats. You kill one or two of them, and they just scatter." Well, uh, so it depends which ones. Um, is it, uh, as far as we could tell, the ones that you killed, they weren't in the grasp or anything, but um, but uh, they probably just... Uh, uh, they, it could just be robbers. Uh, they're scumbags, though. Scumbags. Uh, one of them we, we knew of. Was that the guy with a huge tattoo on his back? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, we knew we knew who he was. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. It is frustrating. Um, a lot, a lot of the criminals here, you can arrest them, but then they end up getting let out because basically they're connected with some gang or the other, you know, like one of the big gangs, and nobody wants a war. You know what I mean? Um, so. The problem is, like, see, you see, like, the Battle Hill boys. Uh, there are probably almost as many of them as there are um, as there are of us. And as for the grasp, there'll be more of them than there are of us. And um, so, basically, our job, our job is to, our job is to keep a lid on the most blatant violence, and um, and make sure no one does anything that kind of messes things up for the Duke or anyone really important. Oh, as a soul destroying job, you know, you've got these scum that you're dealing with all the time and they think themselves damn near free to do what they like. So that's how you have to deal with them. It's all right for you. Imagine what it's like for ordinary people. And the problem is in the alleys, it's even worse. In the alleys, I mean, the only reason we can go there is because, well, we have to be careful not to cause too much trouble. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to go in with a group of 20 or something. Um, so these yeah, guys are just having a good winter. I've been getting a few looks for carrying my glaive around, but I'm sure you guys can understand why uh, I tend to wander around armed at the moment. <laughs> we seem to have pissed uh, a few well, people uh, off. Uh, well, so do we. <laughs> and then... Uh, and I mean, one of them, he just he just lifts up his tab and he's got a sword out there. Just, well, um, I was going to ask, I was going to ask him, I was going to lean forward and basically say, "What's to stop them from recognizing you down here?" Who recognizing who? Who recognizing like, me? Like re recognizing you guys as guards, like doesn't that cause problems in a place like this? Uh, not Everyone's really. not going to say uh, this, but we're not in the alleys, are we? I thought the badger was just outside. Not really. It's more, it's close. It's, out, it's, it's in between the alleys and the town. It's, it's really in the town. It's um, not nothing. Uh, we come in here every now and again. There's Jim here, and there's uh, Sergeant Bannerman. He says, uh, he doesn't get out very often, do you, Jim? He says, not all, but, but when I do, I make the most of it. He says, this is where we tend to come. Um, fish ponds. Most of the soldiers go to the fish ponds, but the problem with there 
it's uh, spirit coming to the town, isn't it? And uh, it's not all, they all know that we're guards. Right. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that cuts the most ways. Fine. They wouldn't want any trouble either. Yeah, they're exactly. just going to openly attack guards. They don't want to provoke the Duke into doing something about. Oh, the grasp, you mean? No, they, they're not, as long as we're not causing them too much trouble. The thing is, if there's a group of, say, three of us going to the alleys, um, the grass will leave us alone as long as we're not treading on their toes too much. Well, I think we've definitely tread on someone's toes because um, they tried to take yeah, us out. Guys, <laughs> yeah, you have. And see, see, if we arrest some associate or something, you know, if we arrest some some associate for pickpocketing or something like that, no one really cares. If we arrest a full member of the grass, they'll let us know. And um, if it was murder or something, well, I mean, that has happened. That has happened. But anything less than murder, guarantee will be let off. And he'll have a grudge. Uh, it's it's a shit job, I'm telling you. So who's he? I get paid enough to deal with that shit, no doubt. And so this is uh, this is the one uh, the one who's speaking now. It's it's the one who's um, it's the one who is um, that you haven't seen before. So um, that's not the, so it's, um, Bannerman's first name is Jim, is that right? He's, yeah, 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 I'm Jim. Then, yeah. So who, what's, what's the other guy's name? I didn't get that down. Um, move. Uh, okay, he says, yeah, yeah, so, um, so I'm, I'm Jackie. I'm Jackie, let's see, uh, I'm on Sergeant Bannerman's patrol. And the other guy says, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Mark. I'm, I'm not on Sergeant Bannerman's patrol, but um, I probably should be. <laughs> Just, oh yes, right. Um, Sergeant Bannerman here, he's, and that probably goes for all of us. He's, he's one of the few guys in the whole of the watch. He doesn't take bribes. Doesn't, doesn't lie, doesn't fake evidence. Uh, there are a few good men. There are a few good men in the watch, but the honest truth is, most of them, most of them are just trying to get by and make a few, make a bit of money if they can. Uh, the whole town has a big, the whole town's a big bloody cesspit, really, isn't it? And they're all just like nodding. They're all a bit glum. <laughs> and. Uh, and this guy, this guy, Mark, he kind of leans in. This is the guy with big cross. He says, um, like, like my opinion, right? Right. Starts at the top. Starts at the top. Um, if we had a Duke who really wanted to, he could sort it all out. And, um, and the sergeant says, well, he says, eh, like, you, you, you're not going to like me saying this, Mark, but I wouldn't say the church is all that clean either. And uh, and this guy, Mark, he says, well, uh, the church, the church isn't the problem. The problem is some of the people in the church. And then they start having a bit of an argument about um, how corrupt the church is, and and they're not paying you any attention anymore. This the argument starts getting just slightly heated. You can tell these guys are like Sergeant Bannerman; he's the most senior guy, but obviously the other two guys are um, yeah, they'll say what they want. Um, all right, so you're having your soup. No one, no one seems to be poisoned so far, and nobody's rolling saving throws. Uh, <laughs> um, 
an hour passes really quickly. Um, some people are starting to feel the effects of a of a few drinks. The um, it's it's pretty cheap shitty ale, but it grows on you after you've had about a couple of liters. Um, at the back of the at the back of the room. Um, by now, Dash is busting for a piss. Um, and one of the guys, he gets up and he walks to the back of the cellar and he just seems to piss in this huge hole in the wall. And you haven't really noticed it before. Um, it's it's about, it's this big square hole. It's about like that size. And uh, and it's where, it's where the bad smells come from. Shortcut to the alleys, eh? Nasty. Um, yeah, it's about waist height, so it's it's a really convenient height. Um, and um, so when dash, dash, yep. you follow him. You go for a pee. You can. Um, you've got a lot of pressure backed up by now. You're holding it because you didn't really know where to go. Uh, you got a lot of pressure backed up, and you can hear far below you, quite far below. You can hear the uh, tinkle sound. Sweet. It's like it's obviously a fair drop. Yeah. Are you just letting me know in case I need to find my way out again? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be a hell of a squeeze getting through there. You don't whether Aragon could do it. Someone with your shoulders might be able to manage it. You get stuck halfway down the piss chute and uh just get urinated on for the next couple of days and <laughs> okay um yeah in fact dash dash you're the only one who's probably small enough to be able to get through this thing all right yeah i'll, I'll just kind of look left and right down there i'm assuming it's pitch black can't see up. it's pitch black down there in fact the whole the whole room's pretty dark there's just well, like one candle it's like one candle on the table and there's a bit of light coming in through the main room yeah Cool. So I'll, I'll ask the guys. Um. Um. Well, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll just tell them what I know of the history of this, uh, the place, the Badger, um, and, and the fires and the, the deaths and everything that maybe contributed to that um, dastardly coward um, Baron. And um, but I'll just ask them if they know when these gangs started up because I'm just wondering if did did one appear before the other. Um, yeah, yeah, they want to hear. They want to hear this whole story, and you obviously, like you, you obviously know the details much better than they do. And uh, yeah, and, and you're going to you're going to sing it. You're going to sing it. Like, let's hear hear your uh, version. <laughs> I haven't got the words written down. Oh, you've been drinking. Oh, okay. Give us a sea just, shanty. Oh yeah, 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 and um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I heard something about this whole place being rebuilt at some point. It was like before we were born, though. It was a long, long time ago. Um, oh, I don't know the the grass. The grass has been around ever since I remember. What about you, Jeb? No, no, it's, it's always been it's always been here. The grass, been on hill boys as well. Can I roll ahead? I'm just wondering about who's yeah when they first started up. How long? Maybe I can roll a history oh. check. Maybe I know already. Uh, yeah, um, Did the Binnell Hill boys have a once famous leader like uh, the Grasp? Or did they just kind of spring up out of, out of nowhere like cockroaches? Yeah, I was wondering if Boomer <laughs> started a slightly more successful um, gang than you. <laughs> Maynard. No, the Grasp Maynard. was successful. Yep. The Grasp you probably know the grasp was set up by Baron. Uh -huh. And as for the Biddle Hill boys, <laughs> uh, there is there's no there's no like um, one famous person who set it up. Uh, but but apparently it's been around for a long time, like um, decades, decades. It's been around for decades. Um, all of the big gangs okay. happening. Because because Varen had like a dragon's treasure, right? So he would have just gone and recruited pretty much half of the alleyways to work for him as thugs. 
as he aspired. Yeah, uh, yeah. Varen, Varen had he had the money and the skills and the everything to do what he <laughs> wanted. And all he wanted in life was to set up a crime syndicate. syndicate. <laughs> that's, that's, that's one ambition. See, it's, it's the only I thing to, he I wanted that's to tax wanted to Tarathian do. City. I wanted to be the tax man. <laughs> and, I, and I got to do it. So of the Bill and Hill boys, all they know is there was some there was some guy called Crickblade, and he died a few years ago. Uh, but he probably didn't set it up. It was probably set up long before him. Um, and they don't know who the current leader is. Is that the same as the Grasp? Do you guys know who's who's in control of it these days? Uh, no, no, no. Um, we know that the most... Uh, the captain in the alleys is this guy, Richard Morris. Uh, but he answers to someone called the grandfather. Uh, we don't know who the grandfather is. I imagine uh, the inquisitor no one... probably has an idea, but uh, probably keeps that pretty quiet. Uh, the inquisitor. Um, well, uh, who knows what the inquisitor knows? Um, just want to think about the inquisitor. He, he. His job is to keep things quiet. His job is not to dig too deeply. You know what I mean? Um, you didn't seem too concerned about that poisoning. About the poisoning? Well, I suppose the um, the woman the the woman who did it she 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 got hanged though. So yeah, I only say that because Lady Meredith was most upset that she didn't allow him to. Uh, uh, she didn't. Uh, he, sorry, he didn't allow her to. Uh, I've been drinking a bit, clearly. Um, to uh, question her further to see if uh, there was more to it. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. Did, um, they, did they give any reasons for it? I didn't. I didn't quite get the gist of why it and, happened. And, and Jeb says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the. Um, I was on the detail there. Uh, so wh one of the reasons might be because the crowd was getting a bit rowdy. Uh, so it might have been. It might have been that, or it might have been." Um, I mean, the trial had been going on for a while. I don't know. Maybe it was just that we already knew who did it, so why waste time? Yes, um, but... Been... The thing is, they were, they were a fairly, you know, like they were a fairly noble family, so, um, I mean, that's the biggest thing that's happened for years, probably. Uh, you know, like, obviously, we, we, we get murders. We get quite a few murders, but it's usually some... It's usually some or soul in the alleys and that was a whole family and it was like nobles so it was a big deal but um i don't know they did question her yeah, she got a um, what i don't understand is you know how come the murder how come the hanging occurred so quickly without a clear reason for the murder in the first place like it doesn't it doesn't sound like there was enough questioning to understand why she murdered that family or who she was instructed to do it by, or anything along those lines. Unless I've misunderstood. Uh, well, I heard a rumour, and uh, I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumour, um, and this is just from the the, to the torturous, uh, it might have been related to some personal grudge or something like that. Um, but I, I, I can't, conf you know, I don't know. You know what? That same woman, um, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. We'll try to. I mean, you, you if if you go and talk to her, I mean, the problem is, the woman who did it is dead. I, if you think there are more questions to be answered, it's probably going to be hard to answer them now. That's kind of my yeah, point. Um... To be fair. I mean, uh, you know, and I don't want to cast aspersions, but if I was involved in any way or knew somebody who was involved in any way, say my friend was involved in setting this up and the person who um, was responsible for doing it or may have been hired to do it got caught, I'd probably want a fairly swift hanging as well before she could divulge any connection to myself or to the person who hired them. So... For me, that and feels then, a little hasty. Uh, and and, and they all lean in and their eyes go. Not conspiracy theories. 
are you saying you think the Lord the Lord Inquisitor did it? And I'll look shocked and I'll go, you're telling me you think the Lord Inquisitor did it? <laughs> no, no, are you? No, you. <laughs> and then I'll, uh, I'll be like, um, no, I didn't <laughs> say... <laughs> Uh, we're just talking about we're just talking about facts and conjecture here. I feel no conspiracy theories. Uh, okay, they they um, they don't they they kind of like laughing. They said, ah, I don't know if you're saying that you're saying ah, that's that's I, I can't see that. Mm. No, they're shaking their head. They're shaking their head. They're not like shocked. Oh, outraged! Right. They just think it's out. They just seem to think it's outlandish. But they're not like offended <laughs> on behalf of the Lord Inquisitor. Fair enough. Okay, so they think he's dodgy. They're just not really sure he's that dodgy. And I'll poison a whole noble family, dodgy. Just and yet, take some backhanders from a from the grasp. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's difficult. It's difficult for us because we roam the countryside with dash. So our bar on dodgy is, you know, quite high. <laughs> Which means that we have low expectations but, of many people. But we're also used to smelling bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That that too. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will ask, um, uh, Sergeant uh, Bannerman. There is he. Did he um did he have any luck? Um, or was it too early days? Because Lady uh, Lady Bellingham did want us to track down uh, Samantha, if we could find her. See if yeah. she needed any uh, assistance or wanted to come to the castle. He just kind of like it smiles and he says, it may not look like it, but I'm working on that right now. There's patience, patience. I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't promise anything. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I'll try. I'll try. And and then um, and then um, up at the bar, up at the bar, um, you hear... Uh, there, you know, up, up and um, so it's a bit hard to see. You can't really see, but you can hear. You can, you can hear people up at the bar. There's a little, it's not like noisy, noisy, um, but you, you clearly hear some guy say, ah, get it, you cunt. Um, and um, it just, it, it was just called out. Garrett, do we know a Garrett? That name does seem to ring a bell. Jim just looks at the other guys and just shakes his head a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, where did Garrett come in? Garrett was the... We got that name somewhere. I might have to read the session notes. All right, so so from where you're sitting, you can't see. From where you're sitting, you can't see anyone. Right, I'm just going to pop up and sidle my way back, uh, just to just to you know, looking like I'm just trying to find out where my beer's getting to. I'm just going to pop uh, my head out and see who it was. Right, and uh, all right, benefits. Can you roll me a uh, d twenty, please? Oh, oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> just tumble out into the main, tumble out into the main room, <laughs> screaming, "Who the fuck is Garrett?" <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, oh no, this oh. doesn't sound good. Right, please you don't let me fall up. down the piss hole. No, it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't an acrobatics check. It was a stealth check. Yeah, we're already. Um, right. I'm sure we know, Garrett. I should have uh, written that down. Benefit. You stick your head up, and and there are there are some guys at the top, and and one of them one of them looks at you. He's a rough looking motherfucker. Did you, did, you, did you go to the top of the stairs and go, oh, hello, Garrett? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this pussy I've been hearing about? 
Yes, can't I hear? <laughs> and and another one. Uh, and one of the guys next to him was even worse. Um, and he says, "Wait a minute. Do we? Know, I know that cunt." And I'll be like, "That effects." <laughs> oh, long roll. So what are you going to say? <laughs> what are you going to say? No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I will actually. I will actually. I'll, I will do that. I'll go. Go. And then I'll go straight back down the stairs, and I'll go tell everybody. There's there's a couple of rough pricks out there. I think one of them's named Garrett, and he's recognised me. Um, we should we should do something about this. He's, he's probably that guy that um uh, that got away. Is that the name that we were given? Oh probably. yes, it was. That's Isn't Garrett. It? I think that was Garrett. Yeah, oh, the, the guy who ran. She gave us. Why yeah, is that yeah. not in the um history though? That surely that should be in the session five notes. Because that was the important bit of information we got. It'll be on our. Is... No, I was uh, talking the, about? the guys, the, the, the dead guy's the wife, and she told us who the the survivor was. I don't who think was it was Garrett. Uh, it was someone else. Oh. Is there any chance we could roll to confirm it? Because I mean, our characters know this information. We just shit at keeping it written history, down. History check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Knowledge check. Roll history. Last week. Memory check. Andrew Harris is the one that got away. Uh, yeah. Andrew Harris. Andrew, okay. Andrew Harris. And Andy Harris or something. Yeah. yeah. Do we yeah. do we think our characters know who Garrett is? Reasonably. Okay, these guys are talking at the top of the stairs. They're talking at the top of the stairs. And uh one of them says, Hey, sweetheart. And I'll pop my head down to the bottom of the stairs and I'll go, Me? <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll I'll push him up the stairs. Is that the guy that punched me in the face twice but couldn't drop me back in Ryman Castle? Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, that'll see, be him. Oh no! It yeah, like that'll be those guys. See, see the uh, the top guy, right? Yeah, the yeah. top guy. This isn't just uh, he. Oh, he yeah. um... Right. Yeah. Did he just knock you out? Okay, I think we need some tokens now. Richard, oh, that guy. I don't know. All right, so we've got we've got um we've got uh, some some what the three yards. I didn't write that three one yards. down. No, he's it's not, it, it'll, oh, be oh, first, it'll be the first. It'll be the first. Oh wait, yeah, look at it. That's him. Look at look at Biter's picture. Does that look like the same guy? It looks like the same guy. Look at this guy. That looks like the same prick, doesn't it? Look at that haircut. Uh, uh, That's Biter. Yeah. Surely. Who's Biter? Uh he's the, one of the mercenaries who I can't is, remember if I'm he's Biter. Oh, punch, yeah. the I'm Biter the and he is now at the bottom of the stairs. Hello, Biter, maybe. Yeah. And he is. Ha, 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 ha. And he's just like, you motherfuckers. I'll, I'll yell out, Dash, these are the guys you said you could fuck up. Uh, <laughs> take, <laughs> take the lead, buddy. <laughs> and, and, and there are a couple more of these guys coming down the stairs. Why well, has Benefix just jumped into my arms, it seems? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I think you know why. <laughs> she should stand. You should stand on the table like that scene out of Lord of the Rings where the dwarf okay. gets up on the. What are the... What are you gonna do? <laughs> there's, there's two of them. Is that right? No, there are. It looks like there are. It looks like there are. Um. Um. It looks like there are four of them in total. Okay. Okay, so uh, eight uh, of us. Who else we've got? Uh, that's true. Initiative. Um, <laughs> uh, is there anything you want to do, like first? Okay, who's the next uh, one? Can I quickly move just to the middle of the like? Just get up on the table and move to the back. Like stand <laughs> up on the table and move back, just to the center there. You're gonna stand up on the table. I think, I think you're someone's. Gonna, you're actually gonna, you're actually gonna climb up on the table. 
Well, yeah. I All think, right. I think somebody's going to get a thorn whip right. up on my table should here. Should I chuck? Should I chuck the ball bearings? Anything anyone else wants to do? Should I put the ball bearings? I'm down? just, I'm yeah. just going to say quietly to um, okay. Sergeant Bannerman that we Bannerman, run into these says, troublemakers says, at Ryman boys, Castle. This cell is taken. Okay. Um, and they say, <laughs> "Get it, get it! You're going to love this." And then. Um, and uh, I'm going to roll my sleeves up. Get it. This one comes into the room. And behind, get it. <laughs> Why am I fucking on the end? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll push my nut forward. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one of them is it. Sweetheart, come and there. Uh, I've had fights as well. Ariel, that's jumping goat and chocolate milk. Well, <laughs> this Why did you mix them? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a mochaccino. I've got a yeah. mochaccino. Right. So, is there anything you want to do? Um, no. <laughs> Throw the ball berries. Throw the ball berries. No, it's too close. Why don't we need those to get away? <laughs> As I drink my drink, I'll just make sure the dagger's yeah. uh, within arm's reach in my boot there. Uh-huh. And uh, my uh, short sword. You can tell they've got weapons as well. And so they're, well, well, it's these little cunts. And You're still salty about being turfed out of that tavern. <laughs> Maybe if you weren't so... Uh, Abrasive. Maybe if you're a little more friendly, you might get a warmer Canada. reception. Instead of being a giant puzzle. <laughs> they caught it here. <laughs> um, and, and, and the sergeant says, wait, 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 we're with the watch. And um, and all three of them have stood up and they've got uh, they've got the uniforms on. And now... Um, One of them's uh, on the church. Yeah. You got it, says Ah oh, okay. How about you three with the watch? Go to a different cellar. And um now the problem is you guys are you've all had a few drinks, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, is there anything anyone wants to it looks like it looks like they are planning to um looks like they are planning to fight. Is there anything you want to do to? Is there anything you want to do first? Do you want to charm them? Uh, mm, I don't think that'll work. I think I'm about to. I'll say, um, <laughs> are you sure this is a good idea, lads? This is, uh, you, you, you dust up three men of the watch and, uh, and they don't turn up, and the next morning, uh, you'll have a lot more than us to deal with. This is a very public, public affair. Right. You're, already, you're already unwelcome in one tavern. You're going to make it another. Mm. All right. Um, assisted by Aragon. Um, Benefix. Oh, no. I'm not the charisma. I should, shut, make, my, I should shut my mouth. Can you, make, um, can you make a persuasion check for me, please? No. Oh, actually. Um, we've already seen you mess up a stealth check badly. <laughs> So what do you it's get? Do you get advantage it's for uh, eighteen? Just, oh no! Do I, do I get advantage from the assist? Do we yeah, you do. Drink on him. Okay, let me roll that just in case. I <laughs> <laughs> Bust out a twenty. Oh, was close. <laughs> was, let me have a look. So he rolls an eighteen, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, jeez. I think I'm proficient in this too. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> no, in fact, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I got minus yeah, one for this one. I'm not actually good at, hey, you get minus good at one. intimidation. Okay. <laughs> I'm like drunk and ass, really unattractive. Okay. Okay. I wish you didn't so, roll one. So, what, <laughs> so now, right? Now, the first guy is, um, and Garrett says, Yeah, 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 we better not kill them. Um, just maybe um, don't make sure you're not killing any of the guards. That's a good point, little man. And, um, and, and the first guy, um... is there a barbarian in there? 
pronoun? The guy biter. The guy the guy biter, he kinda like he kinda like grins and he walks right up and he says As Garrett said, little man, and he's talking just looking down at you, Benefix. Is, uh, oh. That's a very good point. Benefix is on the table. I'm, yeah, I'm on he's the table. Up yeah, at yeah. on the table. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's talking up to him. He's did he? Did he get? Did he get on the yeah, table man. to talk to me? <laughs> yeah, actually, he does. He just jumps up on the table. Oh, yeah. He just jumps up on the table. He just I'll jumps just up on the table, beer. and he's just and he um, and he just he just lifts up the barrel of beer and puts it under his eye, and he says, "You know what?" We'll call it quits. I'm sure we'll see each other well, again. It's, it's not actually our beer, so... <laughs> it's, not a, it's not us you're pissing off. No, no, just yeah, look yeah. at Benham. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, now, looking at all these guys... As long as you don't we... take some of the stew, I'll say... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good thing they didn't take the rabbit stew. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just like... Right. <laughs> he just stares at Dash. And then he stares down at the stew. And then on his second head, he takes the stew as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like really pissing off Sergeant Bannerman. Oh, you're not going to let him do that, are you? <laughs> this is um... All right. Hang on. Um, well, this biter... Okay, can we... Um, can... Good, yeah. so, so he's just picked them up and he's just waiting to see if you're going to do anything. Yeah, can, can, can we lift the table like between the six of us? Like, like one, two, three, and we just turf the table over with him on it? Uh, the benefits is on it as well. Yeah, I don't... Um, also, uh, also, that feels like it would be a bad idea. Um, uh, oh, here we go. Here, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, and um, biter. Can I pick his pockets at the table? <laughs> like, okay. Grab his wallet. Or his biter wallet? is just staring around at everybody. And um, like, if he's got a pouch or money bag, I'm going to try to take it. I, I'll say the way of the sky. I'll, I'll say to I'll say to biter. I'll say, look, we'll, we'll meet again for sure. Next time it'll be. I guess with more privacy and privacy is good for when I insert this end of this staff in your ass. <laughs> you're not going to want other people to see that. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, um, I, think, I, think I know. Like I can. was telling you, your big mouth was going to get us in fucking a big punch up. <laughs> I think we need to roll the initiative. Um, oh, find a way, I think. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try to pick, pick his pocket. Okay. No, he's just while he's on the table, and, just reaching out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna be like, uh, that'll be five gold pieces for the stew. Thanks. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 That's a funny thing, right? So Benefix had almost, almost talked his way out of a battle there. In fact, he had fourteen. But, um, but then he deliberately fucked it up. Right. But I mean, okay. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Okay, um, Dash. I rolled a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, um. Like, well, yeah. It's hard to tell. Okay. Is are you the only one who's rolled? Uh, I rolled a three. Shit. Oh, you you arrived us in rhyme and end for some reason. Hmm. Oh. The fire. Anyone oh, here right. fireworks at their house? Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand why that happened. I will fix that. Um, Aragon 10. That drink was so um, good. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, that's not not really good. Uh, okay, um, okay. That's, not good. that's be... not good when it's ah. alcohol, buddy. <laughs> no, it's a nice mix. No, you don't want it to taste like too good. Well with it's like the chocolate it's milk. Like... It tastes like a Kahlua Bailey's combo. It's actually not bad. Well, it's Kahlua. And Jumping Goat is basically Yeah, Kahlua, yeah, but is... the, the, the chocolate milk gives it a more Bailey's kind of mix to it. Yeah. Who's that yeah, on the table in front of Benoffitt's? 
So the reason, the reason for that, that spider, right? That spider, yeah. Why the is Moro in there? Is and... Moro doesn't have any free hands either. He's carrying some soup and a and a barrel of beer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, yeah, Moro no, shouldn't be is there. Because right. I hadn't changed them from yeah, Moro. Moro should gone, be. All right, these guys are. In. And when I added you to the battle, it put you into Ivan in. That's really annoying. Um, okay, I'm going to so... take Moro off the map. There. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Mora is gone. No, it's not. It's not. I'm using the same token for Dart. Okay. Shall I rename him? Upstairs. Hang on. Upstairs. Uh, um, hold on. I'm going to rename Moro Garth. There. Yeah. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We have control uh, more from that group session, I think. Uh, rename Maynard. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Second fiddle. <laughs> All right, I'm just I'm just sorting out that it put you in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes! You know we're in the picture. Yeah, that's right. That's better. Okay. Uh... These guys were level five, I think, right? If I remember everything. We'll, we'll just, just get... take <laughs> our beans and see if we survive because there's no getting getting through there. We'll just um back our way behind the guards, maybe. Get <laughs> <laughs> ready to start funneling out the toilet yeah. for some of us. Okay. Yeah. Um, guys, is it blades or is it not blades? Well, I wasn't going to use a weapon first. Mm. You're far more likely to die if uh, someone starts swinging a weapon. Right. But I was sure as hell going to pull one out and uh, ready in action if someone attacks me with one. Okay. So the first thing, the first thing that happens. Uh, one of the guys at the back, he he just throws a uh, um, he 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 just throws a big chunky mug of beer at Garth. That misses. Okay, and um, and then yeah, he picks up. He picks up a table. He just like throws it, and then he just picks up a. There is a table right there, a eh? sorry, a chair, not, not a table. He picks there, up a chair. Yeah, benches. <laughs> yeah, he throws that at Garth as well. Um, <clears throat> I'll did, be getting a chair too. Yeah. Did he action surge? <laughs> yeah, he got a, the, a the strength test for check for lifting yeah, the chair. Okay. Should, should, uh, should I get up and urinate on it on on uh, this guy? Just like uh, <laughs> sweetheart, he is. So you, oh yeah. Okay, so that's the guy at the back. And before. now, uh, anyone else need to go to the bathroom? It's <laughs> <laughs> a weird question to ask. Okay. <laughs> He's taken out a short bow. How it is? Is that Del Dash? Is it? <laughs> yeah, I haven't left yet. No, yes, no, but you, your token is called cowardice. Yes, I see that. And, um, and I'll I'll rename this guy to um Girth. Second fiddle. Yeah, he's going to shoot at Aragon. Okay, so this is at Aragon. Okay, so he's using. Yeah, the weapons have come out. Oh, he shot yeah, an he's arrow. Weapon, right? Yeah, yeah he's, he's shot an arrow. He's he's got a short bow. He shot an arrow, Aragon. Short yeah. bow. Uh, you didn't see this coming at all. That's 14 damage. Holy shit. Uh, okay. You got you just soaked up some big hit. Was that did a sneak he, attack did, or something? Because they shouldn't he have hit you twice? Attack me. Sorry? Yeah, that seems way too much. Did, he, did he hit you twice? Or given or he wouldn't make any of the sneak attack. He wouldn't make any of the sneak attack conditions. It, how, does it make so, how does it do so much damage, a crossbow or an arrow? Um, yeah. 
Arrogant, it was a sneak attack. Um, you've got, you are busy paying attention to the guy standing on the table right in front of you. Oh, you melee range with him. Yeah, it's hard to argue. I'm in combat with him. And this okay, has actually so... started his round, but yeah, maybe. Oh, canals. Did this guy just literally... Hey, just... What do you want to do? Yep. Thunder wave. Okay. Now, all of you these guys. At uh, all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, all of you guys. So I'm not going to be able to get fighter. Yeah. Um, but I am going to uh, yeah aim the 15 foot cube at all of the guys at the back. Nice. Okay. Then I'd get behind the guards. <laughs> I'm fucking planning to. Yeah. Yeah, Scott, I'm going to under the table. I'm going to. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. of, I uh, must get to level three. Can you roll your two d eight, please? Okay. You could probably crawl under the table. They get a saving throw, yeah. don't they? It's an, awesome, it's an inelegant way to do it. But... Oh, if you do a couple of damage. Ooh, if you do a couple of them, they might think twice about it. Hey, they they just all take 12 damage. So okay. if they Let's fail go. their save, I think they Let's also go. get knocked back 10 feet. So I'll be, I'll blast them up the um, up the stairs. Ooh, what are the I'll guards? Be falling backwards Ooh. up the stairs. What are the guards going to think about the fact that we're using magic here, though? They might not. Okay. It's bit, there is it's a huge. Dying. Yeah. Yeah. There's right. a huge boom. There is a huge boom of thunder. I just right? have to kill them as well. Uh... Oh, oh. Okay. And you knock some of them back. Now, uh, this guy is knocked ten foot back. Uh, he's the only one who's knocked. Yeah. The others that are knocked back. If they can't be knocked back, I don't think they are knocked back, correct? Are they not knocked prone? Um, well, they'll probably just be no, thrown back prone. against the wall. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So so the, the two on the right are thrown back against the wall. Right, okay. Okay, and now, Maynard, what are you going to do? Uh, now, I'm either diving what? under the table or I'm going to um, leap up onto the table and... Um, Dive behind the guards. So I'm planning well, to land, land up there. You've also got a bonus action, by the way. Okay. Bonus action inspire. Sorry, oh, how yeah. did you get uh, over there? You got to go four. under the table or to the back. Well, either you that or I'm leaping, I'm, yeah. I'm leaping up onto onto the table and basically flipping over the the end. I don't know that you can do uh, that. This is a big long table. There are two people standing on it. Yeah. Maynard, it's yep. it's pretty obvious to you you're really going to struggle to flip over this table. I'm going, going to... under it then. I'm Fuck. diving under okay. the table. Are you... Okay, do you want to do a... Um, okay, so as you oh, do... Is. Wait, yep. Isn't there okay. a token missing as well? Because there were four of the and guys. And I will use a bonus action. Wasn't there a guy from the church be... and three guards? Because the three guards... Oh, no, that's, that's, that's Maynard's moved us right to the back. No, okay. but I mean, One, there two, was three. Bannerman, two guards, and the dude with the golden cross kind of tabard, wasn't there? There are three guards all together. There's, there's, there are oh. three, including Batterman. Okay, sorry. And, okay. Yeah, you so, know what? So you know you know do that. The yep. Main Maynard, uh, do yep. you also want to do an Aspire? He's, he's now front line. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, I will do. Um, are we getting weapons out? And yeah, how do you know? I've started with weapons, yeah. I will inspire Aragon. Aragon? Why? Why? It's not letting you inspire Aragon. Let me just work out why. It might be because he's already inspired. Is he unconscious? <laughs> yeah, listen to, listen to Dash just fucking Stop complain it. loudly at, at somebody else fleeing before he Yeah, can. I'm like, Maynard, do you need it's to like... go to the toilet and fucking pee on the way out as well? <laughs> okay. Okay. Like... Right. Remove. Remove. Keep telling, mate. Remove. I'm just I'm just guarding the hole in the wall just in case no one comes through there. Yeah, it's because <laughs> Aragon was incorrectly inspired already. So you want to you want to inspire Aragon, right? Yep. And what are you going to say? So, oh, look at that arrow! You shrugged it off like it didn't even hurt. Smash that cunt. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, so well, as you do, me, but I can't right? be downed. Yep. As you as you dive under the table, yep. as you dive under the table, biter. Yep. Opportunity and attack. he's he's gonna no he's gonna smash the soup down on top of you. Okay. And, uh, okay. Now, let me sort it out, because he... Is that, a, is that an opportunity attack? Yeah, it is. I just need to sort Wait, out his character sheet. You don't get opportunity attacks 
unless he beats Maynard in initiative, you don't get an opportunity attacks until you've actually acted in combat. Oh, really? Yeah. Where's that? You can't rule? take. Well, you're basically surprised until you're. Well, no, obviously surprised on the turn. Nobody's yeah. surprised. No, no, no. No, Nobody's no, I know. But no, but, but, but until you've acted in combat, I don't think you can take reactions. That's been pretty constant in D and D. I'll see if that's a five E thing as well. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can find, if you can find, because I've never seen that before. I, I, like, I probably have, but um, I'm just going to add a. I'm just, he hasn't got his great sword with him. How many hit uh, points did these guys have last time? Are they like fifth level? Oh, yeah, no, it says in 5e. By the looks of it, you can, uh, an unsurprised character yeah. may use their reaction before their first time, turn. Oh. Yeah, no one's surprised. Okay. okay. So he, he, uh, he smashes it down on Maynard. Oh. The soup wasn't that oh. hot. It's been there sitting there a while. Yeah. Huh? Improvised, improvised weapons. I don't believe you get the your soup, strength. The soup's not that hot. Yeah. Because uh, you have to have the feet not? for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the feet does well, doesn't it? And gives you actually proper damage. I'll Google that though. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me do, let me do this. All right. Um. Because I was treating it as a cob, but that's maybe unfair. Improvised weapon. Do you want to snuff the light out? It might, I, I know, I think probably <laughs> it might calm things down. <laughs> no, Bob is reasonable, right? He's got this big gooey thing in his hands. It's a bowl um, of soup. It's not a club. It's a, you actually need you actually need something like decent size to to do proper damage like, or something. Even a wooden also, bowl or something. He's, he, yeah, much. okay. He's also got this barrel of beer. He's just smashing it down. He smashes it down on Maynard's head. It's made out of Are you thirsty? Um, yeah, made out. <laughs> lap it up. Just lap it up as it comes down. Made out. There is a huge blow on your head. Uh, you're seeing stars. You're just crawling under the table. You can barely see anything. It takes a few seconds for your vision to return. There's no way um, you can do 10 damage with a bowl of soap. Come on. You've got to be a little bit like. He's very strong. Seriously. He's very strong. What? But it's one damage. Ten damage. Plus ten. That's that's off. That's thirty strength, <laughs> which is off what humans can. No, I treat it as a club. A bottle of him. soup is not a no, club. No, no, no. He, he used the alcohol. He's got the barrel of beer. He's got the barrel of beer in his. But even still, that's that's not a club. There's no way that's akin to a ten damage. Like a table leg or something. Yeah, sure. But there's no way a rounded barrel you can swing it effectively with one hand. Well, he's not. For, he's, he's not anything like that. He doesn't like need Come one on. hand, right? He can he can drop this. He's got like nothing else in his hands. He doesn't need one hand. He can use both hands. No, no, he's got soup and he's, in his hands. But, he's got soup in one he hand. Just drop, yeah, he can just drop it. Right? No, he yeah. can't just drop it because that's a that's you have to do that on your turn. He's using yeah. a reaction. And the other yeah, thing is, imagine soup. slamming a barrel on someone, even two-handed. It's not going to be anywhere near as effective as a club that actually has that force and that that arc of. Where oh, it gets uh, to huge oh, speed. Uh, yeah, there's no way there's, there's a little no way coming off a you barrel. Could, yeah. But right, I feel sorry for you. Otherwise, anything can be a club. Um, More like he just chucks the barrel on him, down yeah. on him. We'll, we'll yeah. have, yeah. Okay, so with an, we'll, we'll treat it as an unarmed attack because, like, it's a good point. You can't just drop the suit, right? So we'll treat it as an unarmed attack. Uh, I'm about to feed him the suit. Bowl of suit. Right, this is the bowl of suit <laughs> smashed down on Maynard's head. Maynard, that's yep. still five damage, okay? Shall I, shall okay. I feed him the soup, Stu? All right. Now I'm... Uh, good lawyering. I'm, good lawyering, I'm arrogant, scuttling. because it's true he can't drop something when it's not his turn. That is that's, that's, that's that a one. good point. Quite uh, arrogant. Soup. Arrogant. I'm You're on scuttling. 11 hit points. Yep. Yep. Uh, like, um, what do you want to do, Harrigan? Uh, I'm going to second wind. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to jump forward and... Uh, draw my dagger and try, try and stab this guy in the eye. So D10, please. Well, no, we should have just all smashed the guy on the table. But he's, un, he's not wounded. No, we could all, like, hit him at the same time. Yeah, I, well, I need to come forward uh, anyway, so please. people can get around. Yeah, also, you need to get that guy. You don't want to give that he's guy who's right. uh, free shot yeah. the uh, the archer. 
Yeah. If you're in melee with him. Which one's the archer? Okay, Aragon. I think he's fine. Okay, so so now you're moving forward. Okay. And the guy there is Garrett. So you're going to draw your dagger. Draw your dagger. And this is Garrett. True? Yeah, yeah, if that's who that is, yeah. He's not the one with the short bow, though, is he? No. Is that, that's the one that got blown back up the... Uh... Uh, yes, yeah. So, Aragon, uh, you making an attack on Garrett? Yep. I might come under the table. Uh, nope. Let's let me think about this for one second before I decide to use whether I uh, dagger plus four. Um, is he armoured? Pull your skirt, Elliot. He is, uh, he is armoured. How dark is it here? Yeah, he's armored. Using inspiration. I might, I might go prone under the table with my crossbow. Just, just okay. literally to let to open up. I the don't believe here. you have your crossbow on you. Yeah, I might, well, I says I do. Uh, Garrett, interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> interesting. It says. Uh, it says okay, I have a Garrett. Crossbow. Garrett, just like quits his finger. And he's he's encircled by this slippery purple shimmer. Uh, your dagger just slips off. <laughs> Witchcraft will yell. Burn him. Okay. Wait, what did I not did I not get him? What a short spell, not eh? With a eighteen. Just confirming it oh, got up to eighteen. Oh, yep, go. All right. Yeah, he's used some kind of magic there. Shield. Oh, okay, Sorry. Darth. Yeah. Yarth. Uh, steps forward. St he steps draws forward. his short sword and he says it's made up. Fucking hell, guys! And he stabs at the um, guy on the table. Yeah, that'll be what but he needs to move forward. He's biting. Some grief, Girth. He needs to move forward. Yeah, towards uh, area. Yeah, he, he can do that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Make sure he steps in uh, front of misses. Girth, not Cowardice. <laughs> he misses. Uh, okay. Why is he injured? Why is Garth? In oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he. Yeah, he does that. He misses. Okay. Biter. He just says. You fucking motherfuckers. Ah, he's got this big barrel up above his head. No, yeah, I thought he and just broke just, it. I thought he just uh, it. No, he dropped the soup. He smashed the soup, but now he's got this barrel. He's um I've damaged soup. Oh. Yeah, okay. I thought we said uh, it was the barrel. Yeah, he said it was a barrel. Yeah. I reckon the barrel should have to, have to have a check on soup that he's broken we over Maynard's head. We changed it to a soup since um, since Aragon pointed out that he couldn't just drop it and use two oh, hands on the barrel. Soup. But yeah. now he's got the oh, what a bowl. <laughs> he literally he's very strong. Soup on your head. So this guy is very strong. Um, no, I don't care how strong you are. If you hit somebody with some polystyrene, it's still not going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. Sure it's not gonna... <laughs> so he's got he's got he's got Aragon behind him. He's got he's not he's ignoring Aragon. He's not interested in Aragon. He's got the three guys in front of him. It's got to be Benefix. Benefix is the guy who pissed him off the most. Um, okay, this is a club attack. You say pissed off, I say witty banter. Why don't you ask him for a okay. drink? He's like swinging it. Again. <laughs> Mate, would you try to yeah. Seven damage. Seven damage as he oh. smashes you with the. Cool. He smashes you with the. Just with the barrel. Uh, second attack. I hope you're only giving him a 1d4 for that, that barrel improvised weapon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Benefix is knocked down. Oh, well, that was a long... Uh... Oh. All right. Re Unconscious. So he hit you with a barrel. He hit him. He smashed him twice with the barrel. Benefix is knocked down. He's got okay. two weapon fighting with the barrel. No, nope. he's just got two attacks per round. I mean, this this fight was unwinnable as soon as it started. You cannot take down a fifth level character 
with a second with a group of second level. It's, and it's five statistically five impossible. Five. There's five. So we're, all, five. we're all down, getting down in this fight, no matter what. Okay. So just the, guy, the guy in front of you, right? Yeah. The guy in front of you. I don't do as good. Move. Again. Oh, has he moved? Okay. Gar he says, forward, right? He says, he just says, calm down, Vita. He's not even, he says, oh, I'll just make this fair. And he's just going to punch you, Aragon. Um, he's he's not drawing a weapon. He's just going to punch you. Uh, okay, that is a, oh. I've got an arrow sticking hit? out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, so, so I just you in the arrow. What do you mean? And I'm going to fucking stab them. Yeah, I'm going to stab them back. Okay. If I'm still up, which is very unlikely. Yeah, he's he's hit you. He's he's punched you. You better get back okay. in lead, Maynard, or you'll be remembered for the uh, your, your right. thing on the battlefield. And now the guy who I tell the back. stories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the only guy he can really reach. Oh, he just looks looks at her again. He says, "Yeah, under control." Where's that prick? And he's um, he's looking for Maynard. He can't reach Maynard. He jumps up on the um, bench. And yeah. what weapon has he got? Hold on, did he did he have a better did he have a better initiative than me? So I rolled quite high. I rolled like four, 14. Yeah, plus your bonuses. That should have been pretty high. Oh. Yeah, you should have gone well before me. How did we skip out your turn? Yeah, you need to you need to roll back that guy who just stood up because I'm coming forward. Okay. Yep. We skipped out your turn. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so I think Garth was meant to move forward as well, Sorry right? About that. Yeah, your, your, how did your, we token, your, to your token didn't move. So did Garth move forward? Garth has moved forward. Well, no, he hasn't. He's still sitting in the same place. So I'm going to move, move him forward. Well, how did that happen? Because we moved that forward before. I don't know. We moved him forward before. Okay, so. Okay, Josh, what are you doing? Okay, so um, have I got my crossbow or just my short sword? You yeah. have. We can say you've got your crossbow. Can I get under the table? Light crossbow, hang on. Did you, <laughs> did you smuggle? No, I don't think you've got your crossbow, right? You didn't say. You said you'd bring your short sword. We... Hey, no, yeah, you're, okay. you're in it's danger of being remembered as a coward. Yeah, it's fair enough. <laughs> can I hop under the table? <laughs> it's fair enough. Yeah, Dash, what do you want to do? If you I'm hop gonna... under the table, right? If you yeah. hop under the table, shooting, you'll be at disadvantage shooting from under the table. Why is that? Uh, because you'll be prone. Now, you are actually counters in the lee, so if you want to use a crossbow, you're going to be at disadvantage anyway. I think oh, is is that prone. really a rule? I think you can yeah. shoot crossbows you, you can shoot prone. Yeah. Like... yeah, you but can. You but actually like, when your you're crossbow? prone, any range attack when you're prone is at disadvantage. Well, that's that, but this isn't long range, right? This is short range. No, no, it's nothing to do with range. A range attack on you is at disadvantage. You're saying that, like, you also get disadvantage when you're yeah. when you're prone. Any lying attack down, you make is at disadvantage. Well, well, that's like saying someone with a rifle lying down is at disadvantage when actually that's the best position to be in. Yeah, rules are rules. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lawyer. I agree. I agree, but, but like, that's a rule. I believe. Can can someone Google Arrogance that? Double checking that. I am. No, <laughs> uh, you're also in melee, right? Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, you I mean, can't shoot the guy in melee at point blank, but you could shoot at someone else and not be at disadvantage, right? No. No, you're still at it's still at disadvantage because the problem is the guy in melee is getting in your face and making it really difficult for you to line up a shot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step forward. Uh, no, I'm going to take my shot and then step forward. So, yeah, I'll attack him. Are you going to step forward? Short, short, short sword and dagger. Okay, so, so yeah, you're going to draw your... No, you haven't got any weapons drawn, okay? So you're not going to be able to use two weapons, right? Okay. You're going to have to just use one weapon. So you draw your short sword, okay? Yeah. And who are you going to attack? Um, Biter. Biter on the table, sure. Okay. Now, you can do a sneak attack. Yep. I'm going to sneak attack him. Okay. Okay. D20. Come oh, on. Crit, 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 crit. Crit, crit, We need it. We need it. Uh, 14. Oh. 14. That's going to hit. 
Yeah, okay. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we need a D6 and a D6. Uh, is it only nice. one D6 still? Fuck. Oh, that's, that's not, not how, 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 how what I expected. Okay. Um, I think we'll talk our way out of it. Okay. Four damage. Yeah, he could have, but Benfix decided to. What did he do? <laughs> He's gonna shove the staff up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I recognise my mistake now. I'm <laughs> aware of that. It's all right. Okay. Okay. Benefits. Um. Ed, Ed, hold on. Gonna do this. Okay, so I've still got um my bonus action and my movement round, right? That's so, correct. So I'm going to get under the table. You're gonna disengage. <laughs> And move to the back of the room. Yeah, you win. You win. You're gonna you... disengage, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm disengaging and I'm moving to here. You, you didn't think Maynard was being a coward. You were. You were worried he was going to take a spot squares. under the table. You big fucking puff, do you? <laughs> <laughs> three squares. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Garth. Garth's no, joining in the attack. Turn. What are the guards oh, doing? Yeah. No, 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 no. You said his turn. Yeah. Yeah. I see. No, I'm just anyone else okay. coming through. I'm just and gonna so be like, now, get back in there, get back in there. We jump to <laughs> okay, and now the last guy. I might thorn whip you forward if I ever wake up, of course. Where are you? And the last guy, uh, unconscious on the table. He just jumps up to there, right? And this is this is this guy. Okay, so it's a uh, it's him. Funny haircut. Oh, did it work? No. no, did it work? That's crap. Okay, hold on. Let me try that again. So, um, should have just pickpocketed him. Uh, gone under the table. Oh no, that did work. When I clicked on it, it scrolled up, it showed the guy. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's it's yeah, the shit, uh, the, it? the bowl cut guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I just did that uh, manually. Um, he's got plate. Let's take him down and take it. Um, I'm just going to draw your attention back to the comment of unwinnable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, takes it off. No, he just jumps up on the he just jumps up on the bench there, and he just he just uh, he's got even no weapons in his hands, and he's just like pointing at the guards, going, "Keep out of this." Um, no, don't keep out of it. Uh, Give him a push forward, Maynard. Don't let him eat your stew. Push. Yeah, surely they don't want to escalate. <laughs> He's not this, actually... It's going to be hard to explain how they watch someone die. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right there. As I'm just slipping off the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's all. He's, I, he's, just, he's just jumping up there for now. Yeah. I didn't warn you I would... I'm going to have to heal, Benix. Anything to get to level three. All right. And now... He's going out the sewage at the Badger. And now, the guy in the corner. Remember what you did for your knighthood, The minute? guy in the corner. You're a difficult person to respect, Dash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just says, at least let us kill this one. Um, Is that what you mumble from, from the table, unconscious? <laughs> yeah. Which one? Uh, Who just, was he referring to? Aragon. And he just comes across to Aragon there. Right, and he's just throwing a punch at him. Miss. Uh, and uh, he's Sir Roger's son. Still Ooh. unconscious is more heroic than you are, it. Neil. Hey, I'm going to get it. back under there with my crossbow. Okay. Um, it's going to be a world of pain. Okay, and now, and now the guy with the sheep short bow. He comes back down the stairs. Ooh, he comes back that. down the stairs. By a little guard. And he says, um, and uh, Garrett, he just he just says, put the short bow away, bite her. A uh, sweetheart, sorry. Uh, he just she's fit. And for his turn, he draws out short sword 
Side note, okay. when these guys are level 6 and we're level 10, there's no way I'm putting away my weapons. I'm, I'm going to chop them into tiny little pieces of quivering sushi. And they're not either. <laughs> that guy just put away one weapon and drew another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you say he, he, he got told to put away his short, sword, his short bow, so he, he, he put away his short bow and he's drawn out his short sword. And that was his turn. Maynard, what are you doing? Okay. Maynard? Uh, yep. I uh, am. You are injured. Yep. Uh, benefits is down. Yep. So I'm stepping forward. Um, okay. I'm going to shake Bannox, but actually cast a cure wounds on him. Can, can you, can you, can wake you, up, old boy. Get up. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. Can you roll a D8, please? Are you going to do a reach around? Gonna reach over. That's graphic. Or mass. Five plus my spellcasting ability Five. modifier, I think, is. Five plus two, seven. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um... And I will draw a. Um... My uh, short sword. Shall I chuck out a lantern? Okay, Maynard. You, uh, yeah, you, you're going to draw a sword. Okay. Draw a short sword. I'm also saying to um, Bannerman, um, uh, Arrogance, Sir Roger's son, this is going to cause uh, trouble uh, yeah, if yeah, we yeah, let yeah, him uh, die. Uh, okay. So you drew your short sword I should have broken okay. my little lantern over his head and let someone set him on fire <laughs> I can okay. still do that okay. you're going to burn now, down another Bannerman, pub Bannerman is just shouting at these guys put your weapons away, stop fighting put your weapons away, stop fighting He's he's he hasn't pulled his weapons out uh, it's obvious he's read the situation better than some of you might have. But what do you mean? When you say you? summer, we might have. They attacked us with weapons. We didn't do anything with weapons yeah, we until got, they started firing. <laughs> we got shot at. Yeah, in fact, we were going to fight with fists. There was a five hit point to. bowl. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to do something okay. against that. Um, oh, the very first okay. thing is I got shot uh, with an arrow, though. That's like, true. Before no. any of us active, acted. So they, they used um, weapons first. Mark. The, the Mark guy, he's he's pulled out a short sword. Uh, the guy, Jackie, he's just intimidated. Um, okay. Okay. And, and now Sergeant Bannerman He's also jumped up on the bench. He hasn't drawn out a weapon, and he says, he says, like, if anyone dies here, you will hang. Um, Don't you wish you had that authority? Okay, Dash. Who, who's saying that to? Turn, right? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, okay. Sounds like you just heckled Bannerman. <laughs> 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 I need you to, if you're really going to flee, you should flee. Just, I need you to slither down the piss chute. That's what I need you to do now, Dash. <laughs> Dash, <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay, um, I'm going to, committed. <laughs> I'm going to come back um, under the table <laughs> and I'm going to step back up onto here. On all fours. Yeah. It's like a dog. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, fair falling enough. back and forth. All right, all right. Now, now can I can I snatch the, the That's barrel? That's going to use all of your movement, though. Okay. Can I grab the alcohol off the guy and just wrestle it off him? <laughs> 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 just be like, give me the bag of alcohol. Okay, no, Garrett. Grab him. Garrett, <laughs> arrogant, arrogant, Garrett. He's not even. He's not even like a. He's not even wound up. He's just like. He's just look, he, he's 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 throwing punches at you while you're trying to stab him, and he's he's not even slightly intimidated. He says, "Are we done, boy?" And and Dash, so what what are you going to try and do, Dash? Is he still got um uh, uh is Biter still got the 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 barrel? 
Yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. he's smashed. He's he smashed Benefix twice with it and knocked Benefix unconscious. Is, is and there... the barrel is the barrel is now broken, and there is beer leaking out of it everywhere, just splashing everywhere. Does he have a pouch or a backpack or anything I can relieve him of, like without him noticing? I take his shit in the middle of the fight. You're gonna reach up and grab his pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna snatch. Uh, I'm gonna cut, cut the pouch and take it. He, 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 he hasn't hard. got a lot of them. Uh, yeah, he's got a money page. Yeah, I'm gonna come up from under the table and be like, take the, and I'm just gonna and, and grab, grab his coin grab and grab his cash. Gonna try and pickpocket him. Yeah, in the middle of the fight, like while it's getting. It's broken. gonna be very high. It's Come be on. Very no, it's a you surprise. It. It's a sneak because I'm coming from under the table, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to pull off. You can try. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is gonna be. Crap, crap, crap. Let's do. No, no. Let's do a. We're gonna do a sleight of hand. Party treasure. And. <laughs> <laughs> this is this isn't party treasure. This one's not my next hooker. <laughs> okay, so is it going to be at disadvantage? Okay, it's oh. not going to be easy to pull this but off. This is a perfect. Pocket. This is a perfectly position. Isn't it, you know, isn't it just high try. DC? This should be advantage. It's high DC so and it's disadvantage. Oh. It's not going to be easy to pull it off. If he does pull it off, it's going to be legendary. Are you sure this isn't like easy? Because I'm coming sneaking in. Probably no, this is gonna, he'd be moving around. This is in a, it's in a battle, right? It's in a battle. It's not like he's facing your direction. It's not like he doesn't see you pop up. Okay. Rob. All right, here we go. Come on. Turn about the disadvantage. Oh, two tens. Could be worse. A ten. That's okay. Twenty, isn't it? You lunch. <laughs> you lunge in his. You lunge in his coin pouch, and you do get. You do get a plus two. You lunge in his coin pouch. Uh, you, you grab hold of it. It doesn't come off. Oh, um, do you take it? He just he just looks down and he says, "Motherfucker!" <laughs> you take oh, a history proficiency okay, no, no, as I no, rise over movement, sleight of right? hand. I've, I've still got I've still got movement. Clown. <laughs> no, I got given the history the history points. I don't know why. Okay, from, uh, yeah, probably from one of your backgrounds. Uh, okay. You, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay and I'm what are you gonna do? I'm gonna um, slink off under back under the table. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, like I said, you've used up your movement. No, no, I've got, I've so got. You can a... do a dash. Yeah, you can do a dash, but he will get an opportunity to. I can do a bonus action, disengage, and get back under the table. And no, you can do a bonus action, disengage, and go prone. Right, you've but used up seat. your movement. You used up your movement just to get there. One, two, I was three. I was kind of hoping already. Oh. You're prone already. You can't. You can't. You've used up your movement, right? Yeah. Um. You can dis. You can you can dash. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bonus action disengage so he doesn't get an opportunity attack. That's uh, completely pointless. No, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's you can't, can't move. move. Oh, there's very little I can do now with my <laughs> just, just just lean forward and go. Come on, right here. <laughs> can I can I get my dagger out with my can I can I pull out my dagger with my bonus action? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I should have like um pulled that out to try to slice. That's not it's not a bonus action. It's a free action. Uh, okay, but you can do that. Yeah. So okay. I, I was I was gonna say and I, and I and I Jim, Jim and the and the and the mean looking guy on the table. They're just like facing each other, and uh. And Jim, he's just trying to calm it down, and he's just like reminding everyone: put your weapons away. If anyone dies here, you will hang. Uh, that's all he's doing. Um, Aragon, Aragon, Garrett is just in your face. He's just like he's just like taking swings at you. Say, you had enough, boy. That's all he's doing. He's not even got a weapon out, uh, but there is the guy beside him. Your Actually, goons have right. failed to drop me twice, and I'm going to try and shank him. Right. So, so you've got your dagger. So yep. several of these guys are high level, we think. 
Aragon. Aragon. Yeah, well, I'm not. So, they, yeah. They're, they're yeah. still attacking mm -hmm. me, and one guy just drew a short sword. So there's no point in not mm -hmm. fighting back. With fists, but he did offer you an out. Okay, Aragon, that's a no, nice. I, yeah. He said, have you had did. enough, boy? Yeah. Yeah, what, and while, uh, he, while he just swung at me with his gauntleted fists <laughs> and piled into me, it's still damage. Okay, Gareth. Gareth just says, fuck this. And he just dives onto the table as well. Um, Gareth ends up there. <laughs> He's blocked your retreat. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got the first option now, on the sewer hole. And now, Biter. He, he won't know that I'm up, too, because I'm still lying on the ground. Oh, he's not interested in you. Oh, yeah. He's a. Um, well, that's rude. He says. He just says, cheeky motherfucker. And he smashes what's left of the barrel down upon Dash. First attack, second attack. Oh, that was like nine. Oh, good night. Nine damage with a broken barrel. Oh, oh minus four. Damage. That's me out. Oh. And then, and then he face. just, and then he just throws the barrel down on top of Dash. It's just lying there. It's just lying there. Wait, well. how does he do ten damage with a barrel? 1d4 plus 6. You got gauntlets of ogre power. Yeah, your barrels are like better than short swords. Yeah. I'm just going to carry barrels into the bar from now on. Considering, <laughs> considering <laughs> humans can't get above 20, he must have a girdle or something. He's just got his fists up and he says, who's fucking next? And he says, you. And he looks down at Benef at Beneflex. Beneflex, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. First of all, I'm gonna scream. It's my fault. What have I done? I'm sorry. And then I'm just gonna uh, lead over and bonus action, um, healing word, uh, dash. Bonus action, grovel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Healing, healing, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, thank you. Four. Oh, come on, roll four. Uh, I get some bonuses to this as well. So two. That shouldn't be enough, actually, because I've got plus three on it. So, what do you, what do you mind? You're minus, minus four, right? Minus four. Yep. Just enough. <laughs> Just enough. Uh, you're only doing that because you thought you thought pickpocketing was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then main action, main uh, action. I'm going to shape shift into a um, constrictor snake. Ooh, ooh, that's going to be scary. You're going to crawl yeah. up his pen? Yeah, it's quite, it's quite large. I don't think and, you can do that. I don't think it's. I think it's beyond your ability. I think it's, what CR is the constrictor set? Uh, quarter. Thank you. It's not offering okay. like black cat. Will roll. Quarter, black cat. Quarter, will roll. Quarter, should be but it's on the list. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you might not be that. high enough level. No, I mean it's on the list of uh, challenge rating of a quarter, which is what I can do at this point. Um. Constrictor snake. Yeah. Is that the challenge rating for your character? It's like, so when Biter has beaten you up, you were like, oh. CR quarter, were you? Yeah, the giant constrictor snake is, is bigger. But this one, just the <laughs> constrictor snake. Yeah. Oh, it's still a large beast, though. It's still a yeah, huge anaconda. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Okay. Because my options are like X big boar, constructor state, cow, uh, Dimitri Don It has to be something you've seen. Uh, I've seen a snake, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there, there's not a lot of stuff that. I mean, I haven't seen a pterodon. I'm assuming I can still shift into that. You've seen you quite know? a lot of sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 just, just yeah, a wild I can't, and I, can't, I can't run the risk of. <laughs> Putting on oh, that shape oh, and then know. having Maynard attack me from behind. I'm just not. <laughs> it's not Maynard. It's not Maynard. It's not the only one you'd have to worry about. Uh, okay, I can't see a constrictor snake. I'm trying to work out why. You've okay, got you've got like look. giant bat, giant frog, and giant lizard. You've got all those, right? For this, you, you, you might end up being the next. Uh, okay, the only the only yeah. giant stuff 
here, giant fire be beetle, giant rat, giant weasel. Witchcraft. Uh, giant weasel, that's... spider, and giant Batman. lizard, giant centipede, giant badger. Giant spider's way higher. Challenge rating, challenge rating of one. Like, right. Be the giant badger at the badger. No, then, a giant uh, wolf spider. Is this? It's a giant wolf spider. So you soon, giant wolf spider. That'll probably be like okay. that big. Let, let me have a look. I just try and step on you. Why, yeah. Why we don't have a. a so I'm just going to look up. Yeah, giant wolf spiders only see our uh, see our quarter. Yeah, it's on that same list that I'm looking at. Giant wolf spider and um, constrictor snake are on the same challenge rating. No, there'll be a there'll be a reason. There'll be a reason for us. A snake. Just... Okay, so constrict a snake. Yeah, it's a large beast. Why can't we do that? I can pick a giant poisonous is it snake. Because, yeah. it, is it because, because they're not much for use large? No, I'm pretty sure that's not a restriction. Is it? Yeah, because you can you can pick like a cow, or yeah. uh, just something useless and big. A beast and it's <laughs> large. Why can't you use that? Yeah, the only restrictions I'm aware of are flying or swimming speed. You have to be certain oh. levels to transfer it into things. With them. Uh, it well, have a swim no, speed? it has a Does swim it have speed. a swim speed? Yeah, it's got a swim speed. Ah, uh, you, you won't be able to do that then. Okay. Okay, so Black Cat, Black Cat doesn't say why you can't do it. Uh, does it have Demetriodon? But it, it as, knows. Um, Demetriodon? You, do have, you do have to have actually seen... No, it has to be something you've seen. True, but let me just check if it if your list has Demetrodon on it. It's probably got no, a flying doesn't. speed. Doesn't it doesn't. Matches, yeah, it's so. got a swim speed as well. So that'll be why. Is the swim speed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, you no, will have. Yeah, um, Black you will Cat, have. Black Cat will know that. Yeah. Black Cat knows the rules. Yeah. Okay. Let me go with. Um, let me go with. Uh, shit! I could <laughs> just a horse. I'll just, be, I'll just be a horse. You know, no, 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 giant wolf spider. I'll take that one. A giant yeah. wolf spider. Yeah. At fourth, you get the swimming okay. speed, and then at eight, you get flying speed. Yeah. Okay, giant wolf spider. Okay. Um, as you transform yourself into a spider, yep. Biter just looks down at you and says, says "Motherfucker." Mm -hmm. Okay, Garrett. Roll for arachnophobia. <laughs> Garrett. And Garrett just hurried his head. <laughs> You've got spirit, boy. And he just punches at you. Miss. Shall I take shall I take another go at the guy again. and chuck it down Miss the Miss again. He says, um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Arrogant. You barely hurt this guy, you know. Like he's he's just toying with you. Oh, I'm aware. I don't want to fight him, but he's still trying to kill me. Yeah, he's, he's just punching at you. Um. Okay. No. Um. Can't reach him. Uh. Let's have a look at the map. Okay. Okay, um, the the guy Mark, the guy with the cross, he's just uh, he's just shouting. Okay, fight's over, fight's over. Put down your weapons, and he um, dash. He lays his hands upon you. Is this one of the guards? Yep. Oh, hmm, he's a paladin. He's the pally. He was the guy with the uh, golden kind of cross on his turban. Oh, he's from the church. Where does he lay his hands? On dash. <laughs> which, on his forehead. Which part is he touching? Caresses his face. Are you sure? What's your charisma? <laughs> he might not be able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. There's uh, one hand on the face and the other just sliding up the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a... And, uh... Okay. The guy... He must be from Bennett. The, guy, the other guy next to you, um, he he looks down at the spider. And he says, is, okay. And actually, Bannerfix is prone. Bannerfix, you are prone. I'm going to stand you up, right? 
That's must... reason yeah. why. I'm sure you want to stand up as I'm a spider. Pro. You're prone as a spider. Yeah, it's just hard. Behind your back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> He's just lying on his back as a spider. Yeah. Was, you know, like, I, I'm sure that wasn't your intention, so let's stand him up. Okay. Cool. Okay, this guy, he just looks down at the spider, and he says, all right, fight's over. But then he smashes your fist. He smashes his fist into you. And uh, you spring aside. The whole table just shakes. And the whole table shakes. as this, and this guy's strong. Uh, he smashes his fist, and the spider scuttles out the way. Go. Let's try and fly up. Shit! And then he yeah, does it again. Tag. Yeah. He does it again. And Lights over, and then smash, this, time, <laughs> this time, free damage. Um, all right. Now, who's still fighting? Um, the guy. Uh, no. Can I just scuttle up? Arrogant. Can I scuttle away? Arrogant, this is, uh, this is another guy beside you. Um, I'm going to squish you. One hit point. The other guy beside you, he's also going to, he's big, also going to, he also throws a punch at you. And, um, and, um, and the main guy, Garrett, he lands one blow. He says, out the way, out the way, we'll settle this ourselves. And, um, And now the guy with the short sword, he steps up there. He steps up there. He's he's like kind of wants to stab Aragon. Now this is a um, this is the guy's sweetheart. Uh, like he wants to stab Aragon, but he's just looking at Garrett and says, "Oh, up to you." And he. Um, he, he just he just he steps up there and then he um he steps back and he says we should at least kill that motherfucker who did the witchcraft Garrett also did some witchcraft so not everyone not everyone is um he's currently not a spider every, not everyone is really making an effort to um to um to, to fight Aragon and Garrett appear still to be fighting and so basically, Aragorn's stabbing at this guy, and this guy's just using his fists. And Maynard, what do you want to do? Okay, I'm just making a point of putting my short sword away and say, okay, okay, you've made your point, guys. What's the point? No, that's conceding. Are you fucking... Yeah. Underwoven. <laughs> I think we die if we keep fighting. Yeah, so do, so okay. do I. But they're intent on killing me anyway, so... Uh, Dash, what are you doing? Could revive you if I had some spells left, but I'm. I, I, I can. I, think. I mean, I wasn't going to attack them if they didn't yeah. attack me in a realm, but they keep attacking me. Which way is um? So, so, is so, someone has to blink first and not attack. Is Biter facing me, or did he knock me out and turn around? No, Biter's facing towards you. Sure. Ah, oh, he is facing towards me. He's facing. He's facing. He's he's just looking. He's currently like looking down at the spider, and you are just beside him. Now you are you are prone, I believe. Yeah, you're prone. Yeah, I'm a uh, knocked prone, right? Can I crawl you, under you're, the? You're not prone. Your short sword's <laughs> right there beside. Uh, your short sword is um, is right there beside you. Yeah, you yeah. can disengage and crawl under the table. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. You can you can grab your short sword as right, well. I'll grab it here. Okay, and then um, you could use your uh, main action. Yeah, you can yeah, stand I'll, up. I'll pull out my um, crossbow. Oh, really? Yeah, but not like aiming it at anyone. Just like in prep in case this thing continues. All right, are you gonna have to you're gonna have to drop your short sword and dagger and all that stuff to do that. Do you wanna do that? Yep, yep. All right. All right. Okay. So you've moved your token away. Yep. I'm in the back corner now, just like okay. um, I I'm eyeing up the sewage exit. Cowardice has backed up. <laughs> okay. 
And the sewer just like up. Jim Bannerman, <laughs> Jim Bannerman, he's also just looking down at the spider. He says, "What the hell?" And he um, he. Hits the spider. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stabs it. It's like that. Um, yeah. the, the the rat in in, in brain dead or what is it? Okay. Bad, bad? Yeah. yeah. He he um, he's, he's, and he also just yeah. he just stomps on your bad effects. Oh, he just he stomps does. on you with his boot. Yeah. He, he, so he did that. Uh-huh. And then he smashes his fist down on bad effects as well. Wait, he stomped oh, yeah. me for five damage. Yeah. You, should, you could you could scuttle out the piss um the piss hole, Bannox. Okay. Yeah, these, yeah. these guys have uh, strength <laughs> off, the, off the charts. Arrogant, arrogant. What are you doing now? All right. Under, um, under even though they're still piling on me, I will drop if uh, I imagine if another round goes around. So I'm just yeah, going to so ready. You could, you could, I'm just going to ready an attack with my dagger. And and so I'm. I'm only fighting here because you're trying to kill me, and I'm just going to really attack if someone swings their fist at me. I'll try and slice them again. Because the problem is, it doesn't matter if you're using fists or not in 5e. It's still gauntleted fists. It's still lethal damage. <laughs> there's no such thing in the uh, as non-lethal. If someone, yeah, if it's someone who's strong, yeah, yeah, sure. Same as a dagger. Um, okay, so this is uh, you're going to ready an action. Yeah. Okay. Strike back if I'm attacked, and I'm just going to crouch down, kind of. So it's clear that I'm not trying to shank anyone, but I will if uh, if I okay. have to. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Garth is just in the corner saying, fuck, these guys are tough. Um, well, we did right, want bite her. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough yeah. place to drink, mate. The badger. You should have gone trans, you should have turned yourself into a badger. I was gonna mind. do, I was gonna do a skunk actually, and just fucking spray half the room. <laughs> <laughs> just skunk the poor bastard. <laughs> skunk his leg. I'd yeah. kill a man for less. That, that would oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd break up a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Biter, Biter's just looking down at the table, and he's uh yeah, he's um, he's he's calmed down a bit now, and he just says, "Pity about the beer," eh? and uh, and he says, "Oh, oh we dug them." I'm um, gonna think so. Okay. So there's still benefits. Yeah. Benefits. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna. Right. You're a spider on the table. Right? I'm, go, I'm gonna. Bite is the yeah. only reason Bite is not trying to like not yeah. trying to smash you anymore is because Bannerman is. Okay. I'm just. You, I'm just gonna disengage. I'm gonna. gonna I'm gonna disengage with my action. Then I'm just gonna <laughs> scuttle up the fucking wall. Up to the roof, oh, to the corner above girth, and I'm just going to busy myself wake, making a web. As I'm just going to fucking <laughs> just try and no, get webbed up. Is, right? You've just jumped in a, a, in a glass of okay, beer. Okay, so you, you disengage and you climb up the wall. Now, the only place where you're really going to be safe yeah. is going down the, uh, the Yeah, the only place. Uh, down down the thing is, from on top of the table, anyone can still reach you. right? So the only place you're really going to be safe is down that piss hole. You reckon they can reach I'll, me? I'll under... sort of I'll stand aside and point. <laughs> do you think? Um, do you think? Uh, do you think they'll be able to get me in the top corner yeah. of the room? Or you mean you're talking yeah, about with bows and arrows and shit? I oh no, I, like standing on the table, basically. What? I, I should have grabbed him. Eh? I should have grabbed him and chucked him down the piss hole. <laughs> well, a couple of these guys are standing on the table. So, like, what do you want to do? Okay. Well, in that case, in that case, I will. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to run because I'm quite, I'm large, but well, I'm reasonable size, but I'm not huge. I'm just going right. to swing on over to Dash and I'm just going to start webbing, webbing up Dash's feet just underneath him. I'm just going to start fucking webbing up his shoelaces. I mean, that's not Dash. Dash. <laughs> Where is Dash? Lucky I've got my crossbow the... pointed at the ground. As far away from Dash. the combat as possible. I don't see your token. It's under the benefit. It's under the benefit. He's hiding oh, okay. under benefits someone else's token. token. Yeah. There. yeah. yeah. Okay, Benefix. You can't you can't end your turn. You can't end your turn on dash, so you can m- move it there. No, no, no. Where's the piss? Where, okay. If this is gonna be okay, like, I'm a spider, right? Behind, it's behind um, it's behind uh, Maynard. Okay. I'll just 
stand aside if you want if you want to sort of climb up that and <laughs> no no i'm just gonna I, no, i'm about I, to put him out i'm about to put him down the piss hole if he, gets, <laughs> if he gets on my can boots. i be how tall is this how tall is this room can i just go up the wall just a bit and i'm far yeah, enough away can, from, like, from, from standing on the table yeah. you can reach the, you can reach the ceiling it's like an arch ceiling but it's not very tall right so standing <laughs> on the table you can you can reach the center okay okay I'm gonna grapple the spider, and you're, you're pretty large, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. even if, they they can certainly reach you anyway. Okay, so I can't end my turn on that location. All right, um, nope. cool. The I'll, only I'll... place where you're gonna be like fairly safe is jumping down the piss hole, probably. Jumping down the piss hole. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll fucking I'll scuttle down the side of the piss hole. The the dry <laughs> the dry side of the piss hole. I'm going to take a leak. <laughs> I'm going to bite okay, your no, dick. If you hang that over right, the edge, I'm going to put Sorry, second two turtle. fucking things right. inside of it. That thing's got wicked poison damage. Yeah. Too, just you, poison his cock. You'll have a super poisoned set of balls. <laughs> oh, no, it's See how the hole is locked in now. Better for space and space disengages. And what's your movement? 40 feet climbing. You know, 40 feet poison out. That's reasonable then. You can do that. You can do that. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Um, I will bite your dick, Dash. Fucking... <laughs> Garrett. Elephantitis. Yep. Ready in action, Stu, just in case. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I fortunately have already disengaged, but I'd love to. Okay, Garrett. He says, put the knife away, boy. Uh, he's just ready to punch at you in case you don't do it. Lovely. Uh, no. It was another uh, form of action you could have taken instead of climbing down the piss hole, which was just, I presume, just cancelling your polymorph. Yeah. But you, you opted to the, do the piss hole climb. We're going to block the hole. We're going to block the hole with the bench. I've still got health as a spider, though, so it's kind of like, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you were okay. to take enough damage to drop to zero, then you'd transform back to... Uh huh. Oh, to I, slide, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand the risk I'm taking. Yeah. Uh, if either one of you thinks that's funny enough to just like, <laughs> just club me. <laughs> I was going to like prod you with my crossbow bolt. You like, just like... shoot, shoot the spider on the way down. I'll fucking come back to haunt you, man. I'm just going to lean okay. in there with my hooded lantern and go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. And and like uh, the guy, the the guy with um. Like, fake talk. This is this fucking witchcraft? That motherfucker turned into a spider. Um, but it looks like we're out of combat because no one's really, no one's really. No, I didn't. Anymore. Are we out of combat? Well, I don't yeah. know. Are they? Have they had enough? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it didn't say actually say that. Uh, so the guy who's dropped his sword is. Dash. If you had enough, that's the funny thing to say. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, all right, sweetheart, arrogant, sweetheart, just quietly, um, like, there, not many other people can hear this, but he just whispers at you when there are no witnesses, boy. Um, and Garrett is just putting his hands up and says, okay, quieten down, quieten down. Um, well, I hope we've taught you some respect. See you later. He says, come on, get out of here. And, uh, and he's he kind of like gets sweetheart by the shoulder and, um, and he starts shoving up the stairs. I'll wait. See you next says, time. Come on, biter. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put my dagger away in my boot again, and I'll, I'll whisper to sweetheart, twice a failure. What do you say? Twice a failure. <laughs> He's tried <laughs> to kill me twice and, and, and failed. Um, <laughs> okay, Gary. Garrett just says, you're this, a cheeky motherfucker. You've this, got a this is not on me anymore. <laughs> I'll say to Garrett, we'd probably get on if you stop trying like, to kill me. He says, look, look, son. You stab me, and I kill you. I'm going to walk. Just remember that. 
This is come on, boys, bite her. Are you there? Are you calm down? And Biter says, I suppose, jumps down off the table. He says, uh, he just turns back. He says, why would you, if, why would you guys, I'd find somewhere cleaner for your drinks. And um, and they just all start leaving up the stairs. Um, Garrett, Garrett goes last. Um, Bannerman. Bannerman. Um, Bannerman comes over to look down the to, to look down the hall with a spider. Okay, there's so so basically Benefix is a bit of a there's a bit of a ledge. Uh, uh, there's 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 about a couple of feet. Like there's a sloping down ledge. There's a couple of feet, and then it drops into a kind of pit. You're a spider, so you've got no problem at all. And um, you've got no problem at all, like not falling down the hole. And um, Benefix. I don't know if you um, can still hear. I, I can't um, hear. I'm here. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do? So um, Sergeant what? Bannerman's no longer trying to stomp on you. Uh, he says, is, is, is this guy a witch or what? Hang on. Um, and um, and the, the guy, Mark, he says, what is that exactly? What did that guy do? Is you know, I think we're probably going to have to report that. Benefix, what do you want to do? I'm going to hang out here for a little while. I'm just going to wait. I think you should, like, drop the spell and then climb out. No, uh, it's going to be like <laughs> if he drops, if he drops the well shape, it's going to be pretty. Like, it's actually going to be too narrow for him to get through. Um, probably Dash could get through there, maybe with a hell of a squeeze. Hey, can I um can I go down a little bit? Because obviously the, there's going to be more uh, pea shoots, and I've got a, like another fifty five minutes to find them. Can I climb uh -huh. back up somebody else's pea shoot, hopefully in a in a different area, and then kind of come out, change back, and then walk down from the bar into the room and make it look like yeah, I managed to yeah. flee so during the fight at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's you actually, come up through the female. It's, actually, it's, it's a good point. No problem at all. Um, better, uh, better fix. I'm, I'm just opening up a bit more here. Mm -hmm. Better fix. You end up, you end up in this one. Now, Sweet. there's just enough light for you. There's just enough light coming down the stairs here mm -hmm. for you to... Um, I mean, you can certainly see light from the hole. You end up climbing up there. Yep. You turn back into yourself. Um, Mark, Mark, the guardsman, Mark, he goes like staring. He takes the, um, he takes the candle, which is, um, which um, someone protected pretty well. He just says, uh, anyone badly hurt here? He takes a candle and he goes and takes it over to the hole and he holds it down the hole. Mm -hmm. Is that spider's gone? And I'll, can yeah. I come? Can I come back in the other door now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just. Yeah, one ten minutes later, five minutes, five ten minutes later, yeah. and better fix. Yeah. Does he bump uh, into Garrett coming yeah, up the yeah, stairs? Yeah, So there, so 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 you get up, you get up there, better fix. Can you roll me another stealth check? <laughs> Fuck. Jesus fucking Christ, fucking. You again. <laughs> You're the lippy one. Oh, nice. Oh, thank God for All that. Right. Benefits. This is at disadvantage. Oh, come on. You are exhausted. Oh, uh, okay. Shit. Seven. Oh. Shit. A seven plus three is a ten. That's good enough. All right. Um, okay, benefits. You poke your head up, and these guys are hit the bar, and they're just, they're just having a, uh, they're just like laughing, laughing amongst themselves. None of them even look even slightly bothered or hurt or, um, but uh, apart from Sweetheart, he is. Sweetheart's a bit hurt, and he's he's like he's 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 the only one who's really pissed off, and he's complaining. You don't quite hear it, but he's um, he's he's complaining to um to to Garrett, and uh, and Garrett's just smirking at him. Um, okay, so these guys, uh, like just poking your head around the corner. Uh, someone else notices you. Someone else like looks at you, and just like some other random guy, the bar just looks at you uh, as you're like 
cock your head around the corner. It's <laughs> like, hmm? kind of like points at his mate. Um, but Garrett and his guys, they all go through. Um, you see them go through that exit to the east. Sweet. And then I'm going to trundle on and, down the uh, the door. Yeah. And head back down. And when I get downstairs, I'm going to go, oh, what a battle that was. Did you see that big fucking spider that appeared in the middle of it? That was weird. I'm just going to wander around and go, ah, oh, they've gone, by the way. Okay. The other three, everyone's just like staring at you and like Mark shaking your head. And he says, are you a witch? What do you mean? No, I'm not. That's. I'll, I'll just look super offended. I'll be like, I'm not a witch at all. Rude. I was going to ask if... <laughs> I, was gonna, I thought I was seeing things after being knocked out. I was going to ask if you all saw that giant spider the same as I did. That was bizarre. Okay. Uh, they are all hyper suspicious of benefits. Uh, I, um, I, I thought I saw one of them casting magic at him. I definitely saw that Garrett guy using magic. I, 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 he was using magic, and maybe he turned him into a spider. Makes sense, right? That would be weird. Yeah, that Garrett guy's a spellcaster of some kind. He was, he was casting spells while, uh, while trying to punch me. There was definitely witchcraft tonight. Maybe we should arrest them. Yeah, I think you should report it, Sergeant Bannerman. I think I might do that. Um, this is also I have to say, eh. Uh, Maynard, what was that trick you did? Oh, yeah. uh, like this whole big boom of thunder, like obviously that attracted attention of everybody in the Badger. Like there's this like boom. Of, like everyone knows there's a fight. Everyone in, in mm -hmm. the and then um, um, and uh, uh, like Benefix has just like walked down there. Everyone. As Benefix went down there, everyone was just like watching you, Benefix. Um, like Garrett's gang had left, but everyone was watching you. Um, and the barman, he just comes down, he says, uh, what's going on there? And uh, Sergeant, Benef um, Sergeant Bannerman, he just steps up and says, uh, we'll uh, talk about this. And he um, he's just talking to the barman. Um now Mark Mark the guy with the cross he's the one who's a he's like hyper suspicious now of Benefix. Wait, didn't he just he's heal a, somebody? Yeah, he did. He that, that's not witchcraft. That's church. Right. Right. Churchcraft. Churchcraft. Yeah. Okay. Churchy. It's all right. He's allowed to do witchcraft because he's a yeah. 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 Classic, yeah. classic but, church and, uh, girls, I say, not as I do. And, and, and <laughs> says, uh, oh, the hypocrisy. There's a uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Farmer. Can you explain to me how you came to be walking down the stairs? Yeah, I don't know either. I woke up in the other room. It was real strange. I, I remember the fight starting and then nothing. Benefix. Can you roll me a deception check, please? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. This is a disadvantage. Six. Just trying to work out whether I should be playing a buying disadvantage here. I mean, by the rules, you should be. Not for this. Yeah, he just looks completely. He, he he looks like not really convinced. Um, you haven't really convinced anyone here. Um, it sucks having Garth Garth says, says, Well, well, that Garrett guy, he did some magic for sure. He's Maynard. Maynard can do magic. Um. It's not witchcraft, though. A few little tricks. It's, it's like wizard magic, eh, Maynard? Yeah. Uh, for Lady Meredith. Yeah. 
Magical and, song. So, um, so, so, Bannerman, so Bannerman comes back and says, yeah, well, um, like, what was that all about? Like, I, I didn't really understand. Like, I could tell we were a bit outmatched there. What was going on? You seem to handle yourself all right there, uh, Sergeant. You stomped the shit out of that spider. I don't know what that was about. That's obviously some kind of magic. So basically, basically, someone turned you into a spider, and he's looking at Bamfix. And the one, the one who's like really unimpressed by this is a, um, is a uh, Mark. He says, but, church, okay, so you obviously have met these guys before, like they kind of knew you, right? They came into a tavern we were having a drink at for my birthday once at, at uh, Ryman Castle. Ryman and, Castle. Uh, and tried to drop us there for some reason as well. That was the first time we ever met them. Well, that's kind of interesting because like I haven't seen these guys before. So how long ago was that? A week. A week ago. Um, Maybe a week and a half, tops. Yeah, because like and, he, and the other guys are just shaking their head. He said, yeah, it's kind of like well, we've seen them now. Uh, I'll I'll um, try and find out like who they are and keep an eye on them. He says, oh, like obviously, obviously that's like you can't behave like that. He says, uh, although. I have to say, he's putting the benefits again. Um, he probably did antagonize him a bit more than he needed to. Yeah, I'm going to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> you say, no harm done, <laughs> apart from this. And um, and this is a broken beer barrel. Should have just said, no. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and Mark, sure we replace Mark, that. Says, Mark says, well, we could take a vote. I'd probably say, I'd probably vote for Benefix replacing it. And Garth says, seems fair to me. <sighs> All right. The worst idea of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, all right. I'll uh, I'll pony up the dough. Okay, so Banifex, it's going to cost you five silver pieces to go and replace the. Jesus table. Christ! I'll be like, uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, okay, it's not the most outrageous, but um, do you want to relocate somewhere else, or what do you want to do? Uh, we're going to make we're going to make a point of just sitting in the wreckage like, like yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I don't think it yeah they they already know we're still here right it's not like I mean yeah. this is probably the safest place to be we're going to just mm. make it look like they haven't ruined our night by just continuing drinking in the same place yeah yeah that's right <laughs> we're all like bruised and yeah, I'm exhausted yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff okay so about about half an hour later about half an hour later some some bar guy has come. And cleaned up the cleaned up the suit, and he says, "Oh, we have seen worse damage than that. Broken barrel, eh?" Yeah, same. Um, he says, uh, "Sergeant, um, Sergeant, the uh, the owner says it's on the house, the barrel, uh, the broken barrel, and um, not the beer, right?" And um, so, Benefix replaces the barrel, and uh, you end up. <laughs> you end up all getting pretty you end up all getting pretty um like Mark Mark kind of relaxes a bit, but you can tell he's you can tell he doesn't really trust Benefix. He thinks Benefix is just weird. I'm gonna um or, I'm but, gonna quiz the bartender on what his fucking soup bowls are made out of. You know what I mean why, why yeah, where that, do you get these things? Yeah. Like iron oak? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah no, it was um it was an uh, it's an iron it's just an iron pot. It's an iron pot full of soup. I um, hope you realise the uh, the hole you've dug yourself here, Ziggle. If we kill that guy and he doesn't have a magical item, there's something wrong with your calculations. No, there's not. There's not. 
I, I'm looking forward to that magic great. item. <laughs> uh, there's something you're missing something. I know can you can you divine smite we'll a bowl by the way? But... I don't know if you can. Can you? You can divine smite just about anything, can't you? Not that I'm suggesting it's a paladin. I'm just saying. Okay, so by the time, like, like it's probably it's probably um, not far off. Like this is like probably about three hours later, two two three hours later. It's probably like not far off midnight, and um, and uh, one of the uh, sergeants comes walking down the steps. Uh, you recognise his face from the castle. Uh, he comes down the steps into the cellar, and at the top, in the main room. There are more guards. He's got a spear over his shoulder, and he nods at you all. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. uh, so it was a big night, eh, Jim? Hey, I've got something for you. And he kind of like he's kind of grinning, and he beckons over Sergeant Bannerman. And Sergeant Bannerman, by this stage, is just like rolling drunk, and he like he stumbles over. He kind of like trips over Benefix a bit, and there. Uh, and um, and they're there for quite a while, and then um, oh, a few minutes, a few minutes, and then he says, "Good evening, boys," and he um, and they will leave up the stairs, and then Bannerman, Bannerman stumbles back, and he says, "Hey, so so, um, yeah, hey, hey, about that, uh, Sam, the chamber chambermaid woman you're looking for, just don't want to talk about it, do it." Yeah, what'd you find out? Manta, yeah. <laughs> hey, so so she's uh, she's living with her. He's totally pissed. He's just like his breath is his breath is pr pretty much draining out the um, the urine by now. In fact, in fact, the um, the piss pit has been has been washed. It's been a uh, it's been washed by all the everyone's pissed so much down it now. Uh, recycled beer. It doesn't smell quite as bad as. Um, his breath is drowning out all of that. Um, is it, uh, yeah, so she's living with her sister's family. This is a housing block directly west of Pete's kitchen, just over an alley, if I remember right. Um, so on the third floor, yeah, I saw that. Um, the family, it's, yeah, it's Charles Palmer. He's Did a porter. Uh, we know him. He got arrested a couple of years back transporting stolen goods for the grasp. And um, and Mark says, "Oh yeah, yeah, that prick." And I don't know if he's a full member of the grasp, just associate, or even someone who got caught up. And I don't even fucking know. Uh, we didn't do much with him, did we? And like, and the other oh, guys just like shaking their head, trying to remember. And oh, maybe let him go off for a couple of days or something. He wasn't a ringleader anyway. Uh, you have to be careful dealing with those grass cunts. So, ah, oh, so anyway, I've arranged uh, like she'll be expecting you tomorrow morning, and, and she'll be home. Oh, don't say I never do anything for you. And he's just like smacks his hand on Aragon's shoulder. Oh, um, Aragon, so Ch Charles Porter, Ar Aragon, said, Aragon's shoulder is so badly bruised. He took a huge. In the shoulder. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it, does it, does it KO me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just intense pain. Arrogance badly bruised. Okay. Can I just check? He said Charles Porter, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. Charles. Charles. No, no. Palmer. Oh, Palmer. Charles Palmer. Sorry, sorry. And who was that? Okay. I'm just. I'm just trying to write that in the log. Charles Palmer was. She, that's she's his Sam's, with. yeah. She's living with her family. Mm -hmm. family she's all. like uh, married to Sam's sister or some shit. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. And he's like, he's he just stumbles back to his seat, and he and he pours himself, um, pours himself some more beer. Okay, so can everyone please make a um, everyone please roll me a constitution check. Check or save. Mine is a disadvantage, right? No, this is, yeah, it's a, a, it's a check. Probably will be. Oh, 
No, you don't have to. Oh, Benefix, nice. They're a nine. Oh, oh, no. No, no, it's there. a 10. It's a 10. Oh, Maynard's got a one. Wait. Maynard's got a one. Maynard, oh, is, Maynard is down for sure. But you rolled two 19s. Uh, I didn't. Oh, that was yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, that was accidentally. Yeah, I had. To, yeah, so I guess I guess that first nineteen would totally count then. I'm just taking that nineteen. <laughs> can, can I just can I just draw shit on Maynard? Like, can I get a quill out? And just draw a big penis <laughs> on his forehead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fuck with him. Definitely. Okay. Maybe so, maybe um, we'll we'll hold him with his legs. No. Just hold him down the piss chute, and then just pull back out again. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, so fuck you. <laughs> So it's okay. well past midnight. It's well past midnight. Dash, Gar, Maynard, they've all passed out. And Aragon and Benefix are like severely drunk. They're bog washing people. Yeah. <laughs> Singing songs and bog washing. Um, uh, okay. it's well, it's Great. well past midnight. I'm um, gonna piss in his loot. Aragon and, and Benefix. <laughs> Arrogant and Benefits, you've just been you've just been talking some complete shit to each other for for oh, you've no idea how long. And then you kind of like look around and everyone else has passed out. Everyone's everyone's just down. It's well after midnight by now. Right. We're having that two a, two AM drunken connection session, yeah. No, you're like oh. screaming about what would happen if so and so attacked so and so. If you're having some kind of argument. You've been having some kind of argument, but um, but now thirty seconds later, you've got no idea what you're arguing about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got no idea. In fact, it might have been something to do with the fight and who fight, who caused it in the first place. <laughs> um, yeah. Ben has got this. This and um, he, he's been uh, he's started to come back now. It's a uh, uh, you kind of been blaming each other. Yeah. Uh, so Ben point of view was that arrogant. Aragon was escalating. Uh, Aragon's point of view was that like, Benefix caused the whole thing in the first place. And the, uh, no one's really sure about what happened anymore. Oh, we're sure. <laughs> in the meantime, oh, I there was a spider. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the meantime, on my quarter staff, the end of my quarter staff, I'm drawing. I'm drawing rings around it with people's names on it for where I'm gonna. You know, the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for where I'm gonna push them up to. <laughs> So, idea. so far that the globe. so far that guy, uh, what was his name on the table? He, he's he's further uh, down. He's bite, further bite down. Biter, going all the way. Yeah, but yeah. Bite is getting about three feet. <laughs> yeah, but is getting the whole lot. <laughs> uh, Actually, I think Garrett thinks I stabbed him, but I I didn't. I failed miserably to hit anyone for the entire time. Yeah, it was the traitor stamp part. Although think. he did, it, yeah, he did use a shield spell too. Yes, he did. Yeah, that should you be missed, true. You missed that, Luke. Um, uh, Stu's got like notches on his quarter staff about how far he's going to insert it. There's <laughs> 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 names, names, names stick to it. Yeah. <laughs> don't end up on the. Don't You'll end up on the quarter staff. Next time with just the quarter staff leaning up against the bar, and he'll be like, "Why is my name a foot <laughs> off the bottom of your quarter staff?" <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll just fucking up into my. Yeah. Ah, like, there it goes. <laughs> uh. Private session with Benefix. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a scary thing, eh? If I like move up next to him, take the quarter staff, turn it upside down, and just start dunking it in some grease. <laughs> <laughs> so Aragon and Benefix are still like drunkly smack talking. Um, you know, the Benefix is telling us what he's going to do to bite her when he next sees him. Not next, maybe a couple of, you know, a couple of minutes later. Probably, probably most of the last two hours of conversation have been revolving around this topic of uh, of Re what's going to happen to these, what's going to happen to these unfortunate guys next time you run into them when there are no witnesses. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it's not for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it might go like the <laughs> first two times. You missed, um, you missed basically Benefix has been notching his quarter staff to certain levels and writing names about how far he's going to insert them. <laughs> it's like got, he's got Biter about a foot long onto his quarter staff. <laughs> yeah, he's getting the whole foot. The whole foot right down his throat. <laughs> uh, okay. What Not his throat, but... how, how about Dash? Where does he feature? Just the uh, dash, 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 dash is, is getting the 
benefits benefits in Oregon the 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 um the entire uh, one and a half barrels of beer have now been consumed. Okay, can uh, I you've run out, you've run out, you're getting barrel? really Is tired. It, can, how big are these barrels? Because they're wicked to use. Uh, Dash, Dash is lying on the stone floor, um, just like snoring. No, I'm draped over one of these killer barrels. I'm the barrels are break. the barrels are pretty big. They're about that big. Yeah, so you should Someone carry, carry me home. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm the right one to do that. I can maybe can we just drag, like we're just gonna sleep the other night, are we just gonna sleep on the floor? Can you turn into that horse? Well I'll um Aragon will call for a bucket of water and just throw it on Dash and uh and uh Maynard. I don't think that's gonna help it's gonna make us wet and cold. <laughs> <laughs> We're cold and unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, it takes uh, after after about an hour or so of snoozing, um, the uh, the the barman um, the barman comes out. He says, "Time to go." And he, yeah. um, Sergeant Sergeant Bannerman is kind of like waking up. Uh, he kind of grabs Mark by the shoulder, give him a shake. Uh, the other three guys get woken up. Garth wakes up. Uh, Maynard, he's out for the count. All right, we'll try and uh, we'll try. And Dash, we'll have to take a Dash shot. We'll, tries, we'll definitely tries, go with Bannerman though, so we're not wandering alone in the streets. Yeah, yeah. Dash tries to stand up and, and just like vomits all over his uh, Hold on, vomits no, all over his pants. I could vomit over someone else. Let me roll. <laughs> You're gonna get that what, tip right now. You vomit on me. That's all I'm saying. What we I'm are gonna, gonna do though? Uh, I'm is... gonna I'm gonna try to vomit on Maynard. <laughs> <laughs> you cunt. Once once we get back to the um... Maynard Maynard's already vomited on himself. Oh, I'm rolling um... an attack roll. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a mess. It's a cell phone. Mm. And you land on your shoes. You... Nobody really remembers exactly. How you got back to the um, back to the end, but um, there is role... something. Can, can someone? I'm ask gonna do that? back at the end. Though. I want to. I want to put Maynard in like the doorway of um, what's her face's room, Catherine, and then just leave him there and knock on the door and run off. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> that's quite Definitely. funny. Right. That's quite funny. <laughs> um, you you do you do exactly that. She you do exactly that. Um, by this time, Maynard Maynard's barely recovered consciousness. He's unable to stop you doing anything like that. Um, however, there is so much giggling outside her door <laughs> as he gets dragged there. <laughs> as he gets dragged there. By the time yeah. by the time she opens the door. He looks down at Maynard. Looks down at Maynard. He's just like lying on the ground on his side, just moaning to himself. Uh, <laughs> Does she just dump her chamber it's... pot on him and just close the door? <laughs> no, she pulls him in. Uh, you no. just see his head going after sliding a... across the floor through the door. After about 10 seconds, you hear a door slam. What did Does she do in that 10 seconds? Maynard's gone on. He's gone into the yard. Uh... We'll drag him into the uh, the common room. Yeah, Performance okay. check at severe disadvantage. Maynard, <laughs> he Maynard, like a Maynard shake just is just to spot you. <laughs> Maynard is on the outside of the door. No, he's covered in vomit. Maynard and Dash are covered in vomit. Um, it's a fairly yeah. glorious way to arrive at a lady's room in the middle of the night. Covered in vomit. Right. Tomorrow. I won't remember. <laughs> She will. Moro and Moro and Palatomir, and um, Moro and Palatomir, uh, they are both in the room. Um, uh, you don't even remember. You don't even remember what they say. But um, you do wake up the next morning. So what we're going to do now? Is um, let's um, rejoin. I don't think you recover exhaustion from a short rest. Hangover. Do we need to put off this meeting? 
Magic, it's just a chamber. Okay, we're major. rejoining Vladimir and Moral. Yeah, and we were just going out for a beer. Unfortunately, <laughs> she lives in the, in the alleys. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to. Okay. We're gonna have to go to the meeting. We're just. We're all gonna and rock gonna up in dark sunglasses, just looking and fucking shady. Tanking to high heaven. Yeah. Fuck what's... No. Man, uh, it smells like okay. he pissed himself. Now, yeah. Arrogant recovers. Yep. Second wind action surge. Benefix recovers. Wild shape. I'm gonna spend both my hip dice as well. Okay. Do you want to roll, or do you want to let Black Cat do it, or? No, I'll roll. I feel lucky. I don't know why I felt lucky. I shouldn't have felt lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean and you've like... got another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ball. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> At least they went the hip point rolls. I, I get my plus what three on each, but still. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to also go to roll hit dice. Okay. And Jesus. Yeah. In the morning, you've got this really sore shoulder. Uh, who else is going to hit dice? Uh, me. Can you just let back out roll it for me? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm using hit dice too by Black Cat. You're on full hit points. Me? Uh, yeah. No, I wasn't, was I? I got that guy healed up. you up to full. Yeah, dash. <laughs> Black Cat also rolled pretty badly. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought... Oh, did you get dropped after? And you I'm you on six points. Yep. Right. Yeah, he got uh, dropped. He got uh, dropped. Uh, you want to well, roll after he got healed? Yeah, there we go. Oh, Seven. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, show them how it's done. All right. So, um, so basically, arrogancy, arrogance, the one who's, who's worst injured, 13 hit points. Betafix, 13 of 15. Arrogant, 13 of 25. Uh, so you're not in terrible shape anymore. Annoyingly, the guy who passes out first is the one that wakes up like a spry young chicken. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> the rest of us are just yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. feeling it. And not a, Moro, Moro and Vladimir make sure you're all woken up fairly early. So it, it's about um, it's a, it's probably about ten o'clock by the time you've like been dragged down, had some breakfast. No one's recovered any exhaustion. So people who are exhausted, which I think is um, Benefix and Dash Maynard, Dash Dash, I don't Dash get not Maynard. Sorry, <laughs> Benefix and Dash. So uh, that's a level of exhaustion. Um, now, what do you want to do? We got to go through this meeting, right? We do. I said the morning. Yeah. Hey, weirdly, how did? Oh, to one of six. Sorry, yeah. I thought Dash got healed to full. I was just looking at the I'm health. on full uh, now. Yeah, you only got healed to six. Sorry, I read the wrong wrong part. One of six of 15. Okay. One to six of 15. So uh, all of you, does this include... Um, so all of you got... Uh, all right. Um, Morrow... Morrow... Um, goes and finds Catherine. Now, um, How did it go tomorrow... with gambling? Oh. Right? Uh, ran into less trouble by this, by, than you all did, by the sounds of it. Um, Dash and Maynard are somewhat cleaned up somewhat cleaned up. Um, Dash and Maynard have rinsed their vomit-covered clothing. Um, there is still a faint smell of vomit. Um, and also, now it looks like they've pissed themselves really badly. Um, they've got I these wet clothes on. I'd have some spare clothes, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. You might. Dash has um, it himself. Maynard did, right? Like, I didn't roll a one, but you've got to roll a one to piss yeah, yourself. May, may, may no, 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 no. Pissing, pissing sure. yourself is a given. It's shitting yourself. That yeah, you have to I, reckon, I reckon the ones. And I think Maynard just <laughs> splattered the back of his pants, man. <laughs> That'll take a while. He either. got left in a pile of shit in front of Catherine's door. Yeah, he was oozing all night long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're both, you're, you're feeling pretty rough. Um, Okay, uh, Catherine says, um, 
So, so Catherine turns up and says, well, what's the plan? What's going on? And Morris says, so, so what did you do? You, you, you found the Sam woman. Uh, you know where she is. So why does it look, yeah, it may have looked like show? we went out and got pissed, but actually we were working last night and we got the information we needed. And you got pissed to celebrate? Well, the, uh, it was it was part like of that. the information gathering. We had to grease the right wheel. <laughs> I, so I'm beginning to understand why you've been in Tarapia City for an entire week. Yes, it's got to be up. I'm just going to vomit on my <laughs> shoes. That's way, <laughs> yeah, that's the way things work here. <laughs> and yes, well, um, um, I, I'm not really interested in talking to a chambermaid. Um, uh, you, uh, shall we all head back tomorrow then? Tomorrow morning, we'll head back to Roman Castle. In a group, or how do you want to do it? Personally, I'm more interested in going shopping. Mauro, would you like to accompany me? Uh, since you're the only one not smelling of urine and vomit. And then, um, and Palladimir, Palladimir jumps up. He goes, Is this, yeah, yeah okay, you can come too. Yeah, except you. <laughs> so, oh, Morris oh. is a, uh, oh, I, I, I don't mind. Do you... I'll flick, we... I'll flick Mara a cup of coin and go buy yourself something pretty, sweetheart. <laughs> this is um. I reckon he's sweet. Oh, we've been hitting it. I guess it's that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing a bit of shopping as well. Um, <laughs> bit of shopping. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, Mara and Palladimir are um. Moro and Palladimir are planning to go shopping. Um, the rest of you? Gus is in. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll go shopping. I'll go shopping. I don't need to talk to Jimmy Maid. Um, I'll be safer with those guys. This is. Ah. Uh, do you need um, do you think there's any danger? Or well, I'll come with you then if you think. Do you think that's useful? Well I mean, you were to accompany us to Tarantia. And, um, and Catherine says, yeah, yeah, yeah. She she says, um, yeah, Garth, Garth, these guys might get into trouble. Um you obviously got in some kind of fight last night. Garth should probably go with them just in case they get into trouble. You know, like an extra Extra sword yeah. might be useful, and, and I'll remind Morrow that he's here to and also God, make sure just kind of like, get into trouble. Kind of, kind of like swells a bit with pride, and you see his shoulders kind of rise a bit, and he says, "Yeah, yeah I'll look after these guys." And he, uh, just like you did yesterday, <clears throat> and so you'll set off and actually, you set off into uh, the center of town. Gus, I, I could, I could do with a little uh, healing. You can lay on hands a little, could you? I'm, he kind of like squints here. I'm and fairly he, beaten up under this hangover. I had to take on three of them. They still yeah. couldn't put me down. He nods. <laughs> Talking he nods. hard, eh? Um, <laughs> have we got our weapons back? From, um, did yeah. you remember to get your glaive? I wouldn't go anywhere without it. Yeah, you've, you've retrieved all your weapons. Um, uh, the barman brought it down for you it, yeah you've still got it you don't remember you don't remember bringing it home you don't remember how it came home uh you don't actually remember much at all you I probably, probably needed it to get home in fact if you hadn't written down the instructions of how to find sam the chambermaid you're almost certain you wouldn't remember any of that at all and you um, probably rode your glaive home like a broomstick <laughs> harry potter <laughs> so we are, get into that that did you cry when Hagrid died, Neil? I, I haven't I haven't watched any Harry Potter. I, no, I mean I, the the actor. <laughs> he died it? recently. Really? I don't know. Yeah. So it's um, it's late morning by the time by the time you get out. Um it's 
it's clear again. It's a lot cooler than yesterday. It's a bit windy. Yeah, and you head into the center. A Moro, a Catherine, Palatinia. You're now in the center. And they leave. A these uh, these slimy buggers are probably um, you know they're kind of um, their main interest right now is um, escorting Catherine as she goes shopping. Uh, so Morris says, so the plan is we're going to meet up uh, meet up this evening back at Tarantian and in stables. Um, and and as they leave, he just gives um, he just gives Garth a bit of a wink. And Garth spends a uh, spends the next thirty minutes, uh, thirty seconds, just lamenting that he's been um, that he's been outflanked here, and he should he should really be um, he should really have swapped places with Morrow since Morrow knows exactly what's going on with this chambermaid, and he's got no interest in that. But the whingy bastard is with you now. So there are five leaders: Aragon, Batifix, Dash, Garth, Maynard. Um, all right. Do we want to do this meeting tonight, or I'm probably going to jump off anyway because I'm a bit hungover in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's fortieth <laughs> drinks yesterday afternoon. How that? Goes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. It yeah, wasn't. Um, it wasn't a big thing. It's pretty quiet. You've, uh, uh, you've hung in there pretty well yourself. Wendy, um, have you had your fortieth? No, yes, mate. No. Oh, nice. You're the worst family I was, member. I was wondering, I'm to, I was wondering I've about it. I've got coming up, so I'm planning to have a... Shouldn't yeah, we're, we're planning to have a combined... Combined... Um, Sacrifice. Ashley's birthday is, is um, December. But um, for... That's not going to be... We're not going to be able to do anything for that. So we're going to have a combined birthday. Yeah. These arbitrary de decade celebrations are just a burden more than anything. That's why, at least, I found that. Yeah, you know, when I was coming out to my 40th, I'm like, you know, I have to do something for it. It's like expected. You know what I mean? It's super annoying. I've always wondered about having a medieval fair out here. So I did wonder about hiring some of those guides from the combat school. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you can, you, can, each other. You, can get, you can get the whole armor set bought out, I think. And you can get axe throwing bought to you as well. Do you. Do you think we could put on suits of plate mail and bash each other? You'd have yeah, to do probably. that pretty early, right? Like in the evening. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure swinging the mace around when After you're just the drunk. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even even like just without the mace, I think if I threw a punch and armor, I'd just overbalance. If I was drunk and down you'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would be funny you, watching your turtle in there. Wallowing in the pig, in the pig style. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, do we do we want to do we want to defer until next session, or well, you um, guys can keep going if you want. So, so, so I mentioned going up to Eskerbridge before we went back to Ryman's Castle. Now that we've got someone trying to drag us back to Ryman Castle, are we not going to yeah, go? Yeah, I, I did wonder about that. Is that can we do a bit of a loop? Where exactly is Eskerbridge? It's more it's north northeast. It? It's the opposite Other direction. Way. Yeah, it's one oh, day yeah. to the north each, past the oh, Abbey yeah. Road, the Rose Abbey or something. And what was up there again? There was um, we were just trying to find, we were just trying to That's find right. out what was what was smuggled out of Tarathian City at the last minute and why um everyone got tortured over it. Yeah, we were trying to find Dash's mum, or at yeah. least the path. So we're just going to follow the satisfied men all the way. To the <laughs> I better I better start saving. <laughs> oh no, I think I've got enough. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, we, we definitely can't stay in Tarathian much longer. We've got no. bugger all money left. Well, I think we just leave her a note. Like, we go do the meeting, and then in the evening, we leave her a note for her to find in the morning saying, urgent business up north. Go, um, We'll see you back in Roman Castle. Apologies. You know what I mean? Try not to get into a situation well, we, we, where we, we don't really no want to anyone face. to know where we're going either no you wouldn't tell her you just, <laughs> yeah. there's a, i think there's a whole lot of people looking for the same thing as us mm. Mm. it probably will be good to get out of town for a while but yeah we don't necessarily want to go back to the castle um, um actually was there a uh, we can check but it sounds like there wasn't a letter to take back from the duke 
Oh, we haven't got to that morning yet, have we? Oh, no, we have it. Yeah, morning. yeah, yeah. It yeah, is yeah. that morning. So we can um, check with the innkeeper. But, uh... We could pop up and see the chamber one. Who's this? If there's a letter from the Duke, maybe we need to take that. Well, the I first... don't want to dilly dally with that. First thing to do is catch up with Sam, right? Yeah. And make our call yep. after that. Let's do that now. Right. So. Uh, okay, so do you want to play for a little bit longer, or? Yeah, I'm good for another half hour. All right. Okay. Yep. I'll drop off, but you guys can fill me in. Okay. Uh, we, yeah, we will play for a little longer then. Cool. All good. See ya. Cheers. Um, so now you're heading towards the alleys. Um, you just passed the lawn market, so let's uh, update the, 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 the Tarifian Centre. Um, just past the lawn market, just past this uh, restaurant place called um, Moonbeam. Pretty busy street. Uh, and then, like, you see a grinning face coming towards you. It's um, it's Richard Baylor, a.k.a. Rigid, Dash's brother. And uh, you haven't oh, gone far yet. Aragon, Aragon has just um, backtracked a bit. To um to go and talk with Morrow and Vladimir, well probably more Morrow. Uh, so this is really good in the town. You can just like join people and leave people really easily. It doesn't really it's, it's really convenient for. Uh, so there are four of you. There are four of you, and and it's uh, so there's Dash, and right next to him. This slick Jimmy Morris. He kind of nods politely with a slight grin. And uh, and uh, Rigid is, Oi, oi, how's the big brother? Hey, I've got a message for you. Um, Crystal wants to know when you're back in the Hero's Palace. Crystal? Actually. Who's Crystal? She's my, um, she's the girl I spent that night, the night with. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I, um, I got the impression you made a big impression. <laughs> um, Probably like high five, high five in front of everyone. <laughs> Why did you rob her? Or something? Yeah, he gives, he gives him a, he gives him a, he gives you a high five. Um, <laughs> and this is actually there's another message from Tiffany. She thinks you're all pretty weird. Which one's Tiffany? Oh, she, she was the oh, one that, that was the one that with Morrow, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but I was mocking Morrow, not her. <clears throat> when I saw I don't know. Oh, so the, yeah. this is, actually, why did you leave Hero's Palace? Where are you staying? Um, we found um, some alternate accommodation. Um, uh, and we're only here for another, we're, we're actually leaving today. All right. Uh huh. Alternative accommodation. I doubt there'll be anywhere better than Heroes Palace, but well, it um, does. It does have its perks, but uh, yeah, uh, I, got, I got dragged off. It wasn't my vote. Jimmy says <laughs> <laughs> you'll have a, you'll run out of money, eh? You heading back to the alleys to do another burglary? Did you probably to Scruffy's girlfriend's place? I guess he's not going to be happy with you boys. What the fuck was that all about? Uh, I, I, the, the the door was actually um, uh, unlocked. We were just going to visit him. All right. Hmm. I slightly different, but um, right. So you're heading back down south then, I. Yeah, and it's, it's not like we turned the place over. We just kind of stuck our head in. He wasn't around, so we left. Mm. Oh, Scruffy is around. I think he's in Heroes Palace right now. Oh, well, maybe. Um, yeah, if you want to see Scruffy, he'll, he'll probably be there. Uh, we we we'll probably just head off. I think now we've we've got the information we would. 
kind of thinking we were going to head off soon. All right. You're going back to the alleys now, though? They're going towards the town. So you're, you're basically, you're going towards the alleys and they're going towards the town. Although, we just you're just Pete's kitchen. Movie, so you're kind of, yeah, you, Pete's kitchen. All right. <laughs> you have run out of money. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. the thing is, you are right by the loan market, so it's not obvious you're going to the, but you've already said that now. But, all right. Oh, well, um, give us a shout when you're back in town. Yeah. Okay. And, he's, so, and, um, and, uh, and, 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 um, and, Dash claps you on the shoulder and he says, kind of quietly, yeah, I might, I might come down and visit you. Hey, I might come back down to Roman Castle. Yeah. Yeah. Do. Uh, probably, I'll see you soon. Show me around. Uh, yeah. He says, maybe not Roman Castle, maybe. Avatar, where things are a bit more. There's nothing yeah. around the castle, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so, and they head, they head off into the lawn market. Yeah, yeah, and I'll and I'll, and I'll just I'll just lean in like quietly and say, let me know if you find out the names of those guys you're looking for. It'll really help. Okay. Yeah, really quietly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, dash. Roll me a deception check. Oh. Better pass this, man. Yeah, I know. I should have just shut my mouth. At disadvantage. Why you can't do that? Why would it be a disadvantage? Exhaustion. Oh. Yeah, no, it's obvious you're exhausted. Okay, so, like, actually, yeah. I wouldn't have done anything if I knew I was going to fucking have to roll. Yeah. Disadvantage. Come on. Fail. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> now they know you know who those people are. <laughs> he just he just stares at you for a bit. He stares at you a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do. And they head off. Um, and now, um, so, sorry, arrogant. <laughs> Bye, now, that was good. Yeah. So you, you know, I didn't to follow hear. that. You're about <clears throat> to hear what Aragon, Morrow, and Palladimir. Um. Ash's brother is searching for the name of the two people, your two they, names. And um, oh, right. Dash, Dash has said, give me that, you know, when you get it, give me that information and fail this deception check because it's obviously he knows who you two are now. But uh, not that necessarily it's you two. It's just that now uh, Richard Dick knows that you know the yeah. names of the people. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know, right? He doesn't know anything. No, no, he's just... Know anything. Yeah, it just thinks you're bullshitting what you just said. It just thinks you're it just thinks you're a sneaky drunken motherfucker smelling of piss and vomit. Uh, <laughs> just trying to be a bit sneaky. Which is um, all things are true though. If he found uh, his deception check. Um, <laughs> I'm like the most useless rogue in the world. <laughs> and Morrow Morrow just comes over and says, She fucking gave us a slip. Uh, so now there are all of you. Right, there's Palladimir, Morrow, and there's Garth as well. So you are going to head. Um, okay. Um, with Morrow and Dash, you end up going single file, but um, heading through the alleys, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty busy. It's just a sunny sunny morning late morning by the time you get to pete's kitchen um if you look in row 20 uh, why the fuck there is, is there a, a combat map yeah, large there map there shouldn't be a this is the hangover combat map <laughs> yeah 
We've got 20 minutes to go there tonight. There shouldn't a, be a combat map. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So there is a big blue, that big blue that? building, right? Yeah. It's it's quite high. They, they're both these, all the buildings here are pretty high. You don't get single story buildings. I mean, second story, two stories is the very smallest building you're going to get in the alleys. Most of the buildings are like five, six stories high, that kind of thing. Uh, you pass Pete's Kitchen. Um, it's it's busy. Obviously, a lot of people go there for breakfast. Um, opposite Pete's Kitchen, there's a there's a fairly narrow alleyway. You could just about get a handcart up it and squeeze someone past. Um, so opposite Pete's Kitchen is a big uh, accommodation building. Uh, it doesn't look like the worst place in the alleys. Uh, there is the there is a, just a doorway going to a, a landing. Um, who's heading in first? Me. You know what? I'm right, going to. Oh, gonna... so I, no, someone else can go first. Can I find myself a um a, a place where I'm unseen that I could just ben... uh, turn myself ben... into a wee spider? Because I would like to actually not be involved in the conversation. And also listen after everybody leaves <laughs> as to what she says to somebody else or, or what have you. And I can't imagine this taking longer than sort of half an hour. So, all right, but. all right. And um, so, unless there's combat, there, there, there's nowhere. Yeah. Okay. So there is there is somewhere there is a um, matter of fact. I'm going to just take your token. There is an alleyway just around the back from a um, from a. Um, Hero's Palace. Cool. You will. Uh, are you going to get someone to carry me come in with you to like? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And then I'm going to climb inside their. Uh, who are you going to tell? Uh, who are you going to tell? Aragon. I'll tell Aragon that I'm going to. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll just. Aragon. I'll just climb into. Um... Okay. So so you're going to head up that alleyway alleyway there, and Gareth just says, and 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 Pauline needs to see her, but like, not he doesn't say anything. Okay. Um, Gal says, "Where are those? Where are those guys heading?" Is, yeah. So Benefix, this guy. He says, "They didn't that up there at all." Eh? He says, uh, "He he can do some sneaky shit. That's for sure." And um, anyway, Aragon comes back on his own, and Gal says, "Well, where is he?" I'm sure Aragon's come up, come up with a um, a good solution for that, but I've just told Aragon that I'm going to be. I've told Aragon to say that I'm going to be um, keeping an Aragon eye out around the base. That, he says, "Look, look, the boy had a lot to drink. He's just taking a piss. He says it doesn't feel that great. He went for a went for a piss behind the corner. Went for a bit of a spew. He says he'll uh, meet up with us later. Aragon doesn't seem all that convincing, but then Gareth." Garth is he's way too hungover to um to be paying much attention. Okay. Just says uh, he just shakes his head and says, fucking soft cock. <laughs> <laughs> I am just gonna lift one of my spider legs under the shirt and just give him the fucking just, just give, give him the business. Him, just give him a spider leg. <laughs> yeah, just, give him <laughs> just give him a spider leg. So Eric, you're sitting in Aragon's pocket. Yeah. Okay. Um so you head up, head up to the third floor. And you head up to the third floor and there's landing and there are, let's see, there are four doors on the third floor. Um, what are you going to do? And it, the stair keeps going up and down as well. So steep stairwell, four doors, small landing four doors. Everything's a bit of a squeeze here. Okay, so I this down third floor. I think she was on. You're on the third floor. Yep. Okay, let's knock on the door. There are so four this, doors. This is Sam's house, right? That's where we think we are. There are four different doors. Yep. She's I think she's living with this guy Charles. All right. Uh, can you roll me a d20, please, uh, Maynard? Okay, coming up. 
Knocking the door, no answer. All right, well. That's what it says. So who are we looking for? Try a couple of times. Right. So, uh, so um, Garth starts knocking on some different doors. Someone answers, uh, and he's talking to someone. Uh, someone answers and opens the door. He's talking to someone, and he um, he goes and knocks on an opposite door. And uh, yeah, there's an answer. Is Sam? Sam? And um, yeah, this woman opens the door. She's um, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm Sam. Oh, a lot of you. Uh, okay, come in. Um, so there is a, there is a very crowded room, just packed full of stuff. Uh, there's no one here right now except for a, a toddler running about. And, uh, and Sam says, yeah, um, I, I don't understand. I've already told everything I know. And um, so you're there only room for there only room for um th there isn't really room for everyone to pile in. I'm just gonna scuttle off air again into the room somewhere and find a good hiding place. Okay. Vladimir and Morrow. Vladimir and Morrow are just uh, guarding the stairs. And she says, um, so uh uh, the guards told me yesterday that um, to stay home, and someone wanted to talk about the Somerville family. Uh, I, I've already told everything I know. I don't know what more I can tell anyone. Um, I mean, uh, I'll try and answer any questions you might have. As you can see, we're just four people here. Um, right. What do you want to say? Well, I guess we just wanted to hear um, your side of the story again. It just didn't really, um, obviously, Kathy's been hung, but like she she claimed. Do you mind asking? Do you mind me asking who you, who are you? Sure, sure. We'll, we'll introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Maynard. This is Dash. Um, so Do you work for the Lord Inquisitor or No, I um <clears throat> we live at Ryman Castle. Um so we are um She doesn't obviously she she yeah, looks like she doesn't know what that is. So um Lady Meredith um she tried to involve herself in the trial a little bit, if you may remember. Okay. She's nodding unconfidently. She wanted to she wanted to speak to Kathy. Um, before the trial ended, but she was not able to. So <clears throat> we just, after a little bit more information about why you think uh, Kathy might have done this <clears throat> and who this Brian character was. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Um, Kathy, I don't know, Kathy. She's... <sighs> Kathy was... I, I'll admit, I didn't really like her. Brian, he's a strange character. Um, <laughs> so this is the thing. Um, there were four children. There's uh, Peter, about 12, Susan, 11, Edmund, a bit younger, and Lucy, she's quite young, maybe about six. Um, now, Peter, he could be an angel. Well, his parents thought him an angel. But he could be a rogue too. A little two-faced, I'd say. I don't, I don't know how, how it first happened, but over the past few months, he and Kathy grew to hate each other. And they never used to be like that. Last year, they seemed quite friendly, but... I barely remember them saying a word to each other except about meals. But earlier this year, something changed. I don't know how it started. She had a rant about how she'd hated him. And uh, he had accused her of all kinds of outrages. And I, th I think a lot of it was made up. But like I say, I have told all this to the Lord Inquisitor. Um, 
So Audrey had Theodore beat her. Theodore did beat her, but so mildly, Audrey was furious with him. And she did the job herself. Uh, not just once either, maybe three times, so I'm not completely sure. Uh, I was away for two weeks earlier in the year. Um, she wanted to leave, but she didn't know where to go. She's a foolish, vain, petty girl, vindictive, perhaps. I never realised she'd be a murderer. So uh, perhaps she'd finally discovered some better plan and wanted to get her revenge on Peter first. Uh, that's all I can really tell you about Kathy. I suppose I've known her for maybe three years. And we were friends. Seems unlikely she would poison the whole family over that. It, it's, it seems strange. I never picked her for a murderer, but I mean, the evidence was overwhelming and she didn't admit it. Can we roll a deception yeah. check? Under torture. Can we like see if she's lying to us? You can't roll a deception check, but you can, you can roll me an insight check yeah. dash. Okay, hold on. Are you going to look at my roll <laughs> when I roll it? Uh, here we go. I need to know, I need to know what you rolled. Uh, yep, d20. Ten. Okay. Luckily, I'm. I've got uh, excellent pluses in the inside. I'm minus one. <laughs> <laughs> At disadvantage, Dash. Oh God! Can it get any worse? A roll. Yes, it's a six. Okay. You notice that she's a woman. Yes. You notice. <laughs> You notice that your head is throbbing, and um, and uh, you is make it? yourself a mental note that next time you go drinking with Sergeant Batterman, you should probably take it a bit easier. Can I tell if it's the alcohol or if it was the barrel that hurts? Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of both. <laughs> I actually suspect it's probably the, more the concussion than the alcohol, <laughs> uh, but the combination. The combination, you, you can barely even focus on it. Worst hangover uh, ever. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Maynard. Uh, when you, someone you knocks you unconscious with a barrel twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> someone else buys a separate barrel and you drink it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maynard, you can also do an inside check if you want. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll do that. And, and, and Maynard, Maynard did not get knocked unconscious and is not suffering from disadvantage. But I did roll a one. So there is that. <laughs> You're not even listening, hey? It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> Maynard, Maynard, Maynard is also struggling to even... She's got such a soothing voice. He just, like, and he's, he's had a very late night. He's had a lot to drink. He's also just like he starts, he's struggling to. He starts he's just, gently he's got snoring. Such a soothing voice. <laughs> he kind of like he kind of like feels the urge to. He feels the urge to sit down on the couch and close his eyes for a bit while he's while he concentrates on what she's saying. Can can and, I roll one? Because I'm a spider in a position where I can see everything happening and nobody's looking at me, so I get to read everybody. Do you think I can roll one? I reckon as as a spider, I. I no, I don't think so. I've no, got like spider. 25 eyes, man. I'm looking at everything. You've got you 25 I mean? eyes. You can't really, none of them are giving you enough um, resolution to really read it, read her face. And also you find as a spider, as a spider, you're no longer quite so tuned into uh, to these <laughs> subtle cues as, as you might have been as a shepherd. Um, uh, you know, I do keep all my mental faculties. That's one of the things about this. But yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. We kept your we've had, we've had two different characters <laughs> this. Um, so no no so no no this is different this is wild shape it's very different from uh shapeshift as in polymorph it's completely yeah different i know i understand i understand yeah. i understand but like um yeah. uh okay so um so what what else can i tell you what else can i tell you about her 
Uh, I know she had some family somewhere. When did this um, Brian? When did this Brian um, arrive on the scene? Well, that was about two weeks ago. Uh, well, not two weeks. Two weeks now. Um, well, two weeks before the murder, before mm. the poisoning. It was about. He's a funny character. He's um, he's very well spoken. Strange, soothing voice. Very charming. Strange eyes. Kind of yellowish tinge. I suppose you'd say greenish, amber coloured, maybe. Except not really green, more yellow. Um, he seemed very mild, gracious, and polite, but I don't like him. What about? I didn't know him well, of course. Any other distinguishing yeah. features? Which co what colour hair does he have? Um, how tall was he? Brown hair. Did he wear? Mm, I was slightly above average. So um, we're just we're just trying to get as much information on his appearance. As she's, and she's kind of like she's kind of like looking at Arag Aragon, comparing them to Aragon. Um, Aragon's not really four foot ten. They're not holding on to that. Um, yeah, she says, uh, yeah, he's four foot ten. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't as big as you. Um, when Aragon, this is um, he's probably similar build to to. He's pointing at Dash, probably similar build to you, um, maybe similar height. A little bit she weedy looks, then. She looks into she looks into his eyes. Is no, no no maybe no similar height. She um no he wasn't he wasn't weedy he certainly wasn't weedy. Um Dash lets the lets the jibe glide. Um. Dash winks at her and charms her. Roll a charisma check. <laughs> at, at disadvantage. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. At disadvantage, uh, Dash winks at her. He just He's probably just going to come across as oh. some... Yeah, that's a creepy oh. leer. You just rolled a creepy oh, leer. Yes. <laughs> What's your charisma? Eight? Five. No, it's like 14. What is it? It's 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 actually um it's fifteen actually adjusted. It's yeah. Okay. Good, good looking rogue. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, um, it's not. I mean, yeah, he is he is a good looking rogue, and she kind of gives a she kind of gives a shy smile. Um, dash just a. Uh, he she he's luckily he's just. He's just far enough away that the faint smell of um, vomit right. and piss. It's, <laughs> it's pretty faint by now, but the faint smell of vomit and piss um, doesn't blatantly come from him. Um, besides which, this whole place probably smells slightly of vomit and piss. Pete's kitchen. Yeah. Um, well, um, this is okay. Well, frankly, he tried to seduce me. Yeah, just days after joining the house. But when I pushed him away, he's not angered. He just left me alone and paid me the lead after that. He began stalking Kathy instead. He made me think of an alley cat stalking a foolish and heedless bird. Do you, uh, think, do you think he used any magic? Because she did claim, Kathy did claim that she was bewitched by him. Never seen any magic. You didn't uh, uh, try any magic on you. <clears throat> Not that I could tell. Um, there, there was Rachel as well. Rachel, she's a nurse. She's an older lady. She was away the day it happened. She was visiting her, visiting her son, the ex Aaron. She arrived back after most of the family were already dead, except for Theodore. He survived a lot longer. Yeah, it was, oh, it was awful. Um, it was... Well, so Theodore died around similar time to when the Lord Inquisitor arrived, which is soon after Rachel returned. 
uh, and she's like, she's very uncomfortable. You can tell she's very like uncomfortable. Um, and he had us all arrested. It was really awful. Except Brian, he obviously didn't fancy being arrested, and he had disappeared somewhere. Uh, questioning was terrible. Went on for hours. Was threatened and slapped and told I was going to hang and be stretched on a rack and got screws attached to my fingers and I was crying. I told them everything I knew. They didn't actually crush my fingers. Eh. They let me go eventually. Um, Rachel said they didn't do that to her. They let her go after a few hours. She wasn't allowed to leave the house. Um, so Where I is today. Rachel now? Uh, I don't know where Rachel went. Um, I got held for days until after the trial. And after that, I could go free. So I went back to Garen Wood. It's all locked up. My sister lives here, so I came here. Got hardly any money. Um, looking for work now. I don't know. What else can I tell you? So, so who's the Brian guy? <laughs> Uh, Brian, he's the guy from the um, the letter. He was a new manservant. He got hired to help out with just general things, really, and also as a kind of personal servant for Theodore. Um, Two weeks he was, before they were poisoned. He was very articulate. Um, I think they thought he'd be a good butler kind of thing. So he showed, So where is he now? He took off. He's disappeared. Oh, I couldn't tell no you one knows where he is. I, I think he slipped out when he probably he guessed that we were all going to be arrested and he probably just slipped out. So how do we find out some more about the, this Brian fella? Well, how, how could I help you with them? Um, so where did he come from? I don't know where he came from. The thing is, um, he we were avoiding each other after uh, after I pushed him off. Hmm. I, I will say he's quite handsome. I never trusted him, never liked him. Okay, can we get a description of him? We kind of have. Well, already. I've got the height and stuff. What is he, dark hair, long hair? Like, what does he look like? Like, facially? Maybe. How, how does he dress? Brown hair. Brown hair, very well dressed. Um. Okay, D does he look at all like that, that guy that we met at um um the hero's palace do you reckon strange yellow greenish eyes actually been to hero's palace except um except when i um about a few days ago i went asking for a job and um and they said they didn't need anyone um I don't really have other skill. I'm just a chambermaid. Uh, oh. I'm very good at that, though. What did she uh, ask for a job as? Saucy Winx. <laughs> luckily, the spider... The spider, the spider can't, can't speak. <laughs> the, the spider's just leering. <laughs> the, spider, <laughs> the spider's just, like, <laughs> leering to himself. <laughs> so, Batafix, can I just check? What have you done? Have you jumped out? No, 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 no. No, not at all. I'm, I'm just hiding in Eric's uh, pocket. Uh, no, no. I, yeah, no. So you remember at the beginning, I jumped out to find a place to hide in the room, um, right? And I'm just staying hidden, but listening. The in goal, the, the goal being, once everybody leaves, I can just check what she does if anybody arrives in afterwards, things like this. And before, right. um, about ten minutes before, I'm going to turn back. I'll scuttle on out and head downstairs and find a good place to uh, head outside and find a good place to reappear. Yeah, I mean, the stairwell would probably be fine. Cool. I mean, because there are people going up and down, but like not constantly. You could like pick right. a moment. 
Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if these. If However, if the door is closed, them. will a spider get through the door? Under the gap at the bottom. Possibly. I'd imagine. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. You're a pretty tiny spider then. If I take the, if I get the opportunity, I'm going to scare the fuck out of the toddler. Like, <laughs> put my legs up and shit. But, <laughs> but not, well, not, thing is, not close thing enough is, so that it stomps on me. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, you could easily get squashed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's on the way out. You know what I mean? Like, as I'm about scuttling under the door, I'll just lean back and give him a fucking couple of yeah. those and then go under. I'm, I'm just going to, like, um, think that, do you think the uh, Brian could match the description of Nightblade? Do you think there could be, yep, yeah, that guy that we were gambling with at the pub? Because he's like a hired contract assassin, right? So he could have poisoned everyone. Well, the okay, thing so you're the saying thing this you're... Out loud? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm well, gonna... then you, you, you've said it out loud, okay? So you can't say something like that without it being said yeah. out loud. And she says, I, I don't know any Nightblade. Um, okay. Uh, Nightblade. Uh, post to Discord. It's Nightblade. Um, yeah, from his description, from a description, could well be Shakespeare in love. Could he could he have <laughs> infiltrated the house with like a disguise skill and done? And He's done it? in. Um, quite possibly, it does sound like he he'll be roughly a similar height to you. Um, he is roughly your build as well, Dash. Yeah. Um, so, um, and so there's Nightblade. Got, skill, so Nightblade, got... Nightblade, and Dash are roughly a similar build, roughly a similar height. Uh, and she says, "Well, can you describe Nightblade?" Yeah, I, I will. I'll be like you know, sort of mustache, beard, brown hair, kind of. So it's like... basically your build, your height. Yeah, she says, "Well, yeah, yeah, it could, well dressed. It could be, it, it could be. Uh, I mean, roughly your build, roughly your height. Shortish yeah. beard. Um, yeah, just like a goatee. Was there anything distinguishable about his accent or voice when we met him? Yes, yes, he's. Um, I, I think he was. He gave me the impression of someone educated, maybe, and." Um, Someone who knew polite society. Mm. Quite a soft voice. I say maybe quite a seductive voice. Um, I wonder if we could um get at a point if we could introduce them or arrange a meeting or get Morrow to um, bring them along and identify them. Identify who? Um, this Nightblade guy, right? She says... To be honest, that sounds a little bit frightening. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, we can like I... Catch him I, a minor illusion of him. Do, can any of us do a minor illusion and kind of like bring him up as like a like a um, hologram? <laughs> if this is what um, Morrow says. Well, I could try. Um, uh, now Morrow, Morrow has actually. Morrow's pretty, I think Morrow might have actually practiced this. Did he say that? Oh, yes, he, oh, that's true, he did actually. He did too. Yeah. So he tries that. He tries that. He rolls a one. Oh, nice. He tries to bring up the cap. It's just, it just looks too vague. And she's like, she looks a bit scared. Before he starts trying to do this magic. And he said, I, I, don't, I don't know, I can't, I can't really recognize him in that. So maybe... Try again, Moro. Maybe we could take some... <laughs> Just so try again and get another roll. Try again, <laughs> mate. Use another slot. It doesn't so need to. It's a cantrip. It doesn't need to, it's a cantrip. Um, 
So maybe we could try going back there later on. Take Samantha with us. Maybe she might be able to identify him. She could just going pretend back, to be. Going back where? Well, here, um, here is Palace. You were applying for work there, right? So, so just can maybe come for a drink. We'll buy. Um, suspect. Um, I. This is the thing. I. It sounds a little bit dangerous to me. Mm. Um. Well, you'd just be coming along for a drink. Okay. Uh, well, um, you just want me to come for a drink and you're going to come and buy me a drink and and then you're going to point out someone and then later on, but not right then, I'm going to say if it's a person I recognise. Yep. All right. Maynard, roll me a persuasion check, please. Oh, wait a minute, disadvantage. I don't know. Not oh, for me, God. actually, it isn't. Oh, surely yeah. someone can pass a skill check. Yes! Finally, right. 19. This is... Anyone okay. else expecting well, another one? Uh, I know. I, I was. was. <laughs> <laughs> a one, nine. Um, oh, she says, okay, she brightens up. She says, okay, well, that sounds, um, that sounds, um, that sounds fine. It's very close by. Um, all right. Um, let, let's go and do that. Um, but don't ask me any questions. Um, don't ask me any questions while we're in there, okay? Wait until we're well away from. Definitely. Okay. Um, no. All right. And, and what, should we, are we going to go now? And it probably is coming up for lunchtime. Once I hear this, to, no, we need try. to probably we probably need to to do it in the evening and see if he shows up again. But I wonder if we need to wait for Dan to go and um, fetch him and bring him in. I start. Uh, we yeah, probably, Morris, we probably uh, as Morris says, as as you know, Nightblade and I are not um, are not trusted bosom pals. Okay. Well, maybe what we should do is do some more like. Holograms, then. Well, maybe what we do is um, we'll go in there tonight. We'll head in there, see if we spot Nightblade. If we do, then we'll come back and we get Samantha and we just pop in there for one quick drink. Um, Where are we going to stay? Because we've checked. Have okay. we checked out the hotel? I don't think we have yet. We could stay there another night, possibly. At Heroes Palace? Oh, uh, maybe. No, maybe the other place. <laughs> I do have to drop off for a second, guys. Apologies. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's quarter past, actually. Yeah, we should. Probably okay, should. cool. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's stop now. Let's uh -huh. end now. Um, let's end now. And um, and hopefully, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully you can summarize everything you've learned from. Um for like Dan and Aragon. So when when should we play again? Are we playing in two weeks? 